sorry. Sorry. I'm going to adjust. You know what? It doesn't really need adjusting. Jody. What the actual? Maybe one day we're going to get the hang of this. I'm going to talk like Drinks. this. Oh. Do you know what? What? Um, Hello, knitters, people, crafty people. I feel like when I sit on the table, it's really, really close. People are seeing our pores, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. Um, Can everybody hear us? We don't. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. We have a little splitter in our iPad for the uh, microphone today, so that's the only difference. Can you we're, guys hear us? Okay. We're gonna be able to talk all day. Georgia and Hattie. Hey. Um, hey from Florida. Good morning. We are the Grocery Girls. I am Jody. I'm Tracy, and I'm not caffeinated yet, so uh -huh. I'm going to get on it. Okay. I forgot my tooth. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Tracy comes over. I come over to Tracy's house. You have house, a lot to remember. And she said, did you forget your tooth? Not that I care. Um, and I mean, yeah. whatever. Good morning, Amanda. Okay, you know what's really... Okay, so this is really funny. Good morning, Amy. Oh, I love this whole romper room moment. When I was at... When I'm somewhere, like if where? I've got my tooth in, I'm not quite... Like, what are we talking? Like, we were at Pender Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, so if, I'm out, some, out if I'm out about, If I've got my tooth in, I'm not quite comfortable 100% with you. But you know, if I don't have my tooth in, you're my girl. You're my guy. You're, you're my, people. my people. You're my people. Good morning, Adela. So that's it. Listen, we, the whole we are no tooth friends giant now. grin. I, I'm here for it. It's adorable. You look so cute. I have a little flipper. <laughs> She's a beauty qu queen girl. Beauty pageant. You guys, good morning, star. Good morning, star. Oh my goodness. Can you whistle through that hole? Amanda's gonna listen. She you can, guys, I can't. You guys, even, yeah. Sometimes, so funny. It does whisper a little bit. Oh my goodness! Whistle. Okay. Okay. We're here. You're here. Thank you. You guys, it's a gray day. My nose is running. It's um, a perfect day to be inside. Tomorrow, a September. Net. You can is all it? start putting that beautiful song "September" in our Instagram stories, which I love. Twelve months of the year. Um, but it really is the best when it's actually September. It means back to school. It does. For August some. means back to school. Yeah. It means pumpkin spice latte, if that's for you. That's just, I don't even, if whoever thought of that is. If you're that bitch. Right. If you're you know the what? extra pumpkin you spice guys, person. What I do look forward to is the pumpkin spice cold foam on my oat latte. I feel like that's the oat, that's my favorite too. I it don't like gives... the latte. I don't like the full drink. But when you get the coffee latte with the little kiss of the pumpkin spice foam, <gasps> I actually like that a lot. Oh, that sounds so good. Okay, Kim. Good morning, Kim. Kim is here from Australia. What? And it's Friday for her. And it's 1.42 in the morning. Kim. You're a Nighthawk, early morning person. Mm -hmm. I love that you're here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Adela says it means kids bringing the plague home. Isn't that the truth? Kids go back to school, all the germs mix, and everybody gets sick. Everybody gets Every sick. Every September. Poor teachers. Mm -hmm. I wonder if teachers like chomp vitamin C like um, candy in September. My dad got COVID. Wah, wah. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. Well, we're just talking about bringing the yeah, stuff germs. home. Germs, viruses. Actually, there is an uptake. There's a weird new strain out. And I've, we've actually, I know a lot of people that are out with the big C at the moment. Totally. And Little C. We, I don't know. we don't think about it anymore as. Not as much. It, you don't hear about it as more, but it's still. Yeah, it's definitely still here. Yeah. And I mean, I know immune compromised people, of course, have never stopped thinking about it. So. Yeah. Anyway, stay safe, people. Be oh. healthy as much as you can. Okay. Is I've, there anything else you want to, like, just put out there? My tooth. Dad's got COVID. Mm -mm. <gasps> oh, that's I'm so good. funny. Should we talk about our sweaters? People are asking. People are mesmerized. You walked in the, my house, and I was like, this whole thing? F you. Just F Anne, 3 a.m. knitter. First of all, hello, Anne. Hello, Anne. Um, I'm going to send you a bundle of yarn, Anne. It's so funny because I originally reached out to Anne. She's knit for me before. She's on the East Coast. She's also a podcaster, knitting podcaster. Yes. 3 
Sam Knitter, if you're looking, please check her out. Absolutely. Uh, but I said, would you mind knitting a sample for the shop? And then I had this. This was going to be the sweater. I, I, But then I said, I'll forget it. Can you knit me a sample? <laughs> I'm not going to send you any Frankie Gray yarn. So but this was phenomenal. This is what the, an awesome, awesome person to take that on. When we were, she's knit several. Sorry to yeah, she has. Yeah, her she's, knitting's phenomenal. She's a beautiful knitter. Yeah, her tension is gorgeous. Yeah. Um. So when we were in Montana, I got a very couple, very special couple of skeins, which I thought, I think I got two or three of Ghost Ranch. Spin so this cycle. was when we were at the Farmer's Daughter Fibers Retreat, yeah. which was awesome. And this was at their shop. The I, amazing... In I felt like we were like... I felt like she was like a dealer. Like she went upstairs totally. and brought out these special <gasps> bags. It's a secret password. Like, and they had this in the back. Yeah. This was not coming out. The yeah. spin cycle was not coming out. This before. was actually, I think, like Candace's ones that she's kind of stashed for herself because she loved them. Okay. So I picked these are um like look at the color shift. It's intense. This, like the chunks of like solid, like not quite solid, but like the real shifts in colors it's i look at it as like yes like there's this intense color and then like almost like a watercolor transition yes. moving you to the next next to next yes spin cycle is magic that should be a t-shirt i feel mm. like it's old news mm -hmm. but ghost ranch is such a beautiful color i think it must be one of their top sellers but it's funny because like you're just alluding to all the skeins are different yeah so, which version of Ghost Ranch is your favorite? Who knows, right? Yeah. There's so many of them. Um, so, what I knit mine in... No. Excuse me? What this sweater was knit what in... What Anne? Um, it's the Reminisce base. I knew I wanted this base because Tracy had her yeah. Miserina in it. Yes, which I was going to wear today. Were you? Yes! So, this is their in-house um, Farmer's Daughter Fiber. It's one of their non-superwash uh, blends. It's a sport weight. It's 100% Rambouillet. Yeah. It is springy. It is one of the most beautiful yarns I've ever knit with. This is called Love Me Like You Used To. It's I can describe it as stone. It is, but for some reason, it almost looks... Does anybody else get like a pale, bluey vibe because of what you've put with it? Like almost like that barely blue? I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's like maybe your eyes that it may take on a color... You might see a color if it it's, really is like a, a grayish color, like a it's very, very stony. Neutral. I love it's it. It's gorgeous. But look what's left of this, you guys. That's awesome. So this look that that's what she sent back, you guys. That's great yarn I didn't management. Really, you know what? I didn't even look at the specifications. I just sent her what I had. Right. I didn't even think. Do I have enough? Right. Like you would have panicked if that's what you would have been left with. Uh, sorry, I just, yeah, I totally would have been panicked. I just got a text that's from... not a lot of leftovers. Like, when no. you're, when you're... That's like four or five grams. That's, and I feel like that's perfection. But, just a tiny bit left. You don't have this um, huge amount of yarn to deal with. This is like buying the exact right amount of yarn for the project. This is easy, this is e either... Yarn chicken or perfectly planned? Uh, I feel like it's perfectly planned because there's several meters left there. Yes. You're really not playing yarn chicken. That's that's a lot of yarn. Yeah. So with this sweater, this beautiful oh, lace um, collar is so beautiful. Yes. There is options in the pattern to do it here where you actually knit it separately and graft it on. And then the bottom yes. also has... Um, I'm going to stand up. I don't even know if we've said what the sweater is. Alpin Bloom. Alpin oh. Bloom by Caitlin, Caitlin Hunter, Hunter, which yeah. just came out this summer. Yeah. And I follow the hashtag on Instagram now. There's a lot of beautiful sweaters popping up. Show us. Okay. So I asked Anne if she could please follow the pattern for this, but just ribbing for the top and bottom. Which I love. I feel like that would be my choice too, Joe. And I kept saying, I'm going to knit this. I'm going to knit this. Up, but I'll be honest. I don't love all of them. I love it. I love it. I should it's just got follow some ease, these. But look at this yarn, you guys. You're gonna die. It's so nice, and it's such a nice weight of yarn. I feel like 
when I was knitting with it, so the, the pattern's actually fingering weight. Yeah. Yarn. So it, this is that transitional in between weight of yarn you can knit. I find this oh. will work for fingering to decay this reminisce and recollect. Yeah. The dra you could hey, this the pattern speaks for itself. I mean, it is stunning. I know. Right? right? It's a real beautiful pattern. But the yarn, you guys, and we talked about it before and Tracy gushed. Now I have a garment in it and I'm gonna gush yeah. because this base, it's a non-superwash base. Mm -hmm. It is dreamy, it is springy, it is amazing to feel, and it's even more amazing to wear. Yeah. And the I mean it's just gorgeous. Like my my skeins of ranch romance are kind of like they look hand dyed. Like there's variation and I and depth and it's just beautiful. I couldn't you're right. I absolutely love it. I can't yes. say enough. Okay. The one thing I do want to say, and we said it before, it's it's a crapshoot when you're buying these skeins that could could there could be variances in them. Farmer's Daughter Fiber has an option where you can FaceTime. Yeah. And oh, you're talking about Spin Cycle now? Spin Cycle, sorry, Spin Cycle at Farmer's Daughter Fiber. They will FaceTime, as probably a lot of shops will. Yeah. If you want to pick, hand pick. Like, I think it's like a Zoom shopping session, and you yeah. can book it right on their website. Or if you have questions, you can call the shop and they'll help you out. But yeah, they will pull yarn I highly and give recommend. you really close ups of, and you can, so you'll know exactly what you're getting. Okay, let me tell you it is 185 yards on 50 grams. It's mm -hmm, amazing. Mm hmm. Yeah, beautiful yarn. Thank it's you, amazing. Anne. Period. Beautiful sweater. It looks phenomenal on you. I want to knit everything. Okay. I'm so craving something new to cast on, and I. Uh, you were in Toronto. I was in Toronto for Let's quickly, five or six days. How were the Jonas Brothers? Super fun. Um, Jonas Brothers were great, but the best part of that was how much Georgia enjoyed it. It was one of those on your feet the whole night. This Ew! Whole, whole really? <laughs> You know you're old the when worst. you, you want to sit weren't. down. Um, this crowd was crazy. They were all pretty much the same age. 20, 20 to 25? 25-ish. And they were all screaming every lyric. Well, Nick was wearing leather pants. Right. Anyway, it was great. Um, and I told you that we were walking home from the concert. We were so lucky. A friend offered their apartment downtown Toronto. It was right near the baseball stadium. So we're walking was home. Was it an outdoor stadium? Well, it was the baseball stadium, so the, it's got a roof that opens and closes. Oh. But it was closed that night. Was it packed? Packed. I, You know, they said there were tickets available. They had to have been very few because when you were in there, it looked full yeah. to the ceiling. Okay. Um, anyway, it was really fun. And as we're walking home, a black suburban kind of drives by and Joe Jonas is hanging out the door. So Georgia just like, she, yes, she lost her mind. It was so much fun. But then... We went on a little road trip to Niagara on the lake and Niagara Falls. All those Niagara Falls pictures are on my husband's camera and I have to get him to send them to I me. I want to see them. It was so, oh, it's me in a poncho where it's pulled this small. I'm and, laughing. I had so much fun. Isn't it amazing how wet you get? It's, That's yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are we talking so about? stupid. Um... The falls, yes. yes. I was right? drenched. And how close you get. Okay, that freaked me out. The boat, I'm like, I was like, woo, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, what? So many people on the boat. And then all of a sudden I'm like, well, we're getting really, really close to these falls. Can we just like throw it in reverse? I'm done. I am done. Let's be done. Um, and then they did. And the power of this boat, it was kind of shocking. Had a blast. It's a wonderful family trip. It's a wonder of the world right here in Canada. I'm so glad we went. And, you know, of course, we went back at night because it's all lit up at mm. night. Did you see fireworks? No. Yeah. No. But we had a ball. We stayed at this amazing hotel. Yes. And I will add that link to our show notes. Good it's morning. Niagara Grandview Boutique Hotel. I'm still mad. About I'm sending, everything about I'm your sending time you the link. Their own website, not so nice. Um, I booked it through Expedia. There's better pictures there. But it's this over 100-year-old old mansion that they've refurbed, renewed, redone things, and broken it up into blocks to, to rent. So some are hotel rooms, some are larger suites. It was just... And it's right there. It's right two minutes from 
two minutes driving from Niagara Falls. Like it's on okay. that road that Niagara Falls is on. We've done Niagara Falls four times. All four times we've stayed on the Divey Hill. Yeah. Well, those are the big, and those are the big hotels. My daughter just texted me. Did you forget your tooth? Yes, Jordan. I forgot my tooth. Yes, Jordan. Do you want to bring it over? No. <laughs> Who needs it? Who needs all teeth? Now it's out. Like, why put it in now? Uh, well, Jody. And that's nobody, most of the hotel rooms are in the tourist area. Nobody like, told me about Niagara on the Lake. I had no idea it existed. We need to go there. It's beautiful. It is. You guys, it's such a beautiful part of the world. It's one of those towns that look like it's been created for a movie. It's mm -hmm. so it really did. perfect and beautiful. And summer, you couldn't throw a stick without hitting a giant flower bed or display. It was stunningly gorgeous. Well, I thought someone's gatekeeping Niagara on the Lake. Right. Well, secrets out. It Listen, was on a If you can go, go. I feel like you're going to love it. It was really fun. So yeah, so that was five or six days, which was not a lot of knitting time happening. A little, I have a sock that I was working on in the car, but I don't have a ton of knitting today to share, but I will. I will. I have lots to share. A little bit of, a little bit of everything. Good. Um, I don't know Anne if anybody... Came, Anne came through with this. Totally. Like, I wouldn't have Rock added... Rock star yes. Anne. Uh, okay, I love my sweater just as much. You should. This is the Super Simple Summer Sweater by Hohi Locatelli, which came out a few years ago. It is a round yoke striped beauty. Oh. Boxy with this cute little rolled, it's ribbing and then a rolled to, um, detail, I guess you can call that. Anyway, it's super fun to knit because stripes just are no matter what. And the yarn I used was Mungo by Rosa Pomar which is the yarn that was in the pattern when Hohe used it. And it's 50% wool, 50% cotton. That's going to be a theme today a little bit. It is one of my favorite blends. Yes. It's, it's, it is rustic feeling. It's all Portuguese wool. And then um, it's a recycled yarn. Mm -hmm. Like it's really good one too. I love it. I can't love it enough for lots of reasons. I've been wearing the heck out of this. And I would knit another one like tomorrow. It's so great this blend for in between temperatures, like when it's really not quite sweater weather. So it's half cotton. It's not as wooly and hot as lots. So I love it. What are you smirking at? Because mom just texted. <laughs> Jody, did you forget your tooth? Yes, mom, I did. What? She did? We're all, listen, if you're here. Did you forget something, Jody? <laughs> if we're all here, we're all friends enough that I don't need my tooth. Listen, it's just a tooth. Right, but yes, yes, I did forget my tooth. Managed to put on mascara, but no tooth. I'd way rather uh, forgetting my tooth than mascara. <laughs> well, right? there's the priority. I would I totally go... agree with that. And I just spat all over our. That's so funny. Anyway, yes, mom, love the I sweater. Yes. I feel like everybody should knit one. Yes, it's such a sweatshirty sweater. Yes, if you love that shape, relax. It's, it's easy very to throw relaxed. On. I feel like I would knit the size down next time. This is super roomy, which I love the feel of. Okay, so here's a but question. But I would like to knit one that's slightly smaller. Did it come out to gauge? I have to measure that. I feel like I might have been maybe off gauge a little mm. bit. Or maybe I did that thing where I add a couple of stitches after I split for sleeves because I'm nervous about yeah. things. So it's like nothing I, to do with the pattern. I that's wonder amazing. if it's going to fit. I'm going to cast on 30 stitches. Right. Under if my I add arm. two more inches of fabric, for sure it's going to fit. You guys, I switch, not necessarily, but, but I just, still love it. Just to try the Starbucks dark roast, I like it. Yeah. I, I think I too. might like it better than the blonde. Really? Well, there you go. Um, okay. I can put my straw through my teeth and not. <laughs> <laughs> Today's going to be what can Jody fit through the hole in her mouth? Oh. That's going to be day. Um, I mean, so maybe, what is that? Super bulky size? Yarn? Oh, I think almost roving. Super maybe. duper bulky. Somebody asked, yeah. did you go to a yarn store in your travels? I did not. But you know what? I'm totally okay with that. I did, as we were driving to Niagara region, the creative knitters shop was not off the route. Like I was kind mm -hmm. of on the way, but the day we were going, she was closed. So I, I had a plan, sort of, but it was all very, like, that really wasn't the kind of trip that it was. Yeah. And now I'm, you know, Knit City Toronto is happening next May. And if we really, I mean, I feel like I would love to go a day early and go visit a couple of yarn shops with you. 
Yeah. And then I don't feel like I'm cheating. They would be great. Cheating? No. So you Are know you what I ended up BFF? doing? I went to the damn <laughs> Hockey Hall of Fame. Thumbs down. I would have sat outside and knit. Okay. And not cheap. No. Can I... Nothing's cheap. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. You guys. <laughs> Linda. Wait, Linda. Because of... So you maybe you stayed at a crappy hotel in Niagara, but you did tell us how great the African Lion Safari we love Park it. is. So we were like, I Googled it. I said, oh my gosh, Jeff, it's really not that far. We should go. Because we rented this little car and I wasn't driving. So I was like, driver, yeah. can we go here? <laughs> um, Next stop. And he was like, yeah, sure. Sounds super fun. We've never been. Mm -hmm. um, 50 bucks a head to drive through this. Do you think that's... Well, they yes, have to, I think like it's they a have lot. to raise... But it is conservation and animals and I don't know what you're Listen, we saw a water buffalo give birth. Well, I did not see that. I saw the bare butt of a baboon. And what about which the is giraffes? Not cute. Were they close? Listen, I enjoyed every minute. I don't know if we're supposed to like it. Is it like not PC? Mm. Okay, there's lots of ways to. It was so. It's not. I would not call it a zoo. It's a. No. It's a sanctuary. Yes. It's a wild setting. Huge Hundreds fields of acres. Fields with very little fencing, but it keeps the animals in their area. It was nothing like a zoo to me. No. Um, these animals had, like, there was a bunch of them living together and natural water mm. habitat. Like, I don't know. I did not feel, I don't go to a lot of zoos anymore because Canceled. of that. <laughs> Way to bring up the crap part of it. No. But I just, did like it. No, I, I mean, like I've talked it. to it before, but it's, yeah, it's beautiful. Let's just say they're all OMG. rescued. <laughs> They're all rescued. I don't know if they're rescued, and there is definitely that part they're of it. There rescued. is a big part of animal conserva um, conservation fundraising and stuff through there. Too. And they have a they they're having a breeding program. Do they? Yeah. So that's super important, right? Like this. Yeah. I'm not kidding. This water buffalo gave birth right there. That is phenomenal. And sometimes, well, in their natural habitat, they could some of these species become extinct. Yeah. I, I don't totally know enough. I don't know up. enough. I don't know if enough no, I about it, but no, I, I did not yeah. feel. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what to say about that. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, <sighs> I got myself an Apple Watch. And? I don't know what to do with it. For your workouts? Like, Listen, I, I love them. I've wanted one for a long Tracy, time. I don't know what, like, what am I going to do with it? Just use it for, it's, it's a watch. It's kids, you're texting, whatever. It's, I love the modern shape of it. I have loved them since they came out. I actually thought. My son has one, so I get a little jealous every yeah. time. I kind of thought everyone has one. Do I want one? <laughs> I'm not sure now. Yeah, everyone's had one for the last five years. <laughs> Way to go. Whatevs. I now got I this, have one. I got this new thing. Okay, this is 23 minutes, and we have barely talked about knitting. Although we have. Yeah. We have talked about knitting. It's, we're going to sprinkle it through. Let's do that. Um, so we had a very big day yesterday yes. at Grocery Girls. And it was a whirlwind and exciting and all of those things all at once. We're always asking you to sign up to our newsletter. We love to share that information through the emails and we really appreciate it. When you do sign up, so we did send one out Monday night. No, Tuesday night? Tuesday night. We sent out an email that we're going to be hosting our first ever knitting retreat. It's official. It's official. We want to say we're super excited. And there's an element of being bummed. A that huge. People are going to be disappointed that the spots are already We made full. mistakes about the way we yes. launched this. So yes. let me tell you the details first. Unfortunately, it is sold out. There is a waiting list at GroceryGirlsCruise.com. If you would like to get on the waiting list, absolutely go ahead and do that. Um, but we just want to, first of all, thank the teachers that are coming with us. We are going on an Alaska cruise and Hohi Locatelli and both amazing ladies of Tin Can Knits, Alexa and Emily, are coming to teach. So thank you to the people that got so excited and registered right away. Mm -hmm. We, in our inexperience, did not give you guys a heads up. And now we feel really bad about that. So we feel like we've learned something really important. Next time, that will not be happening. The good news is I feel like you guys are excited about the possibility of mm -hmm. retreats. And we will. We would love to do more of them. Listen, 
we are going to continue to do this retreat yeah. until nobody wants to sign up. Okay. So everybody who wants to sign up and come spend some time with us and knit and have fun, everybody who wants to do that will get to do it. Let's use the comments below to tell us where would you, like, let's design a retreat. Where would you like to go? Who is someone that you would love to learn from? We would love input. Yeah. Um, because we we are we are we are going to be we're in the works. That was twenty twenty three grocery girls knit. That was our thing. We really wanted to get a retreat on the books, and you guys already made it a big hit. So thank you, thank you. Yeah. The reason we cannot have more people is because there are workshops happening and the size of the class is really important and we had a minimum and a maximum and we've hit the maximum yeah we had a desired number and a maximum yes and hit the the maximum so we had no idea yeah um but thank you thank you to hohi and alexa and emily and we have never taken a cruise before so we have a lot to learn <laughs> a lot Tracy and I are both saying, what if we're, like, seasick? No, can't happen. I've I, been on boats before. Really? Not for, like, days, but, like, I've been on a whole afternoon sailing. I was on a ferry sailing. at Niagara Falls, and I felt fine. Like, we were sailing one year, um, years ago. Well, that's ago, a good way. And I, and I never got sick. Yeah, but good. Anyway. Um, the last thing I want to share about that is that we we actually are the te one of the teachers, too, for that retreat. Yeah, so, so our first official Full length, three hour class. Yeah. Tracy's teaching. <laughs> we are going to teach together because Jody's like, she knows. We both know. Well, you don't know what you know until you start writing it down. We are focusing on socks. We know a lot of people are intimidated or they don't get the fit right. Everything sock talk, tips and tricks, techniques, embellishing. Um, we are going to have tubes of knitting for people to cut in after that heel so you don't have to ruin your Duplicate own sock. Duplicate stitch, like embellish it, <clears throat> like making your sock a perfect sock for your foot. Yeah. Or if you're not an experienced sock knitter, learning how to do it for the and, first time. And I feel like we're, we're going to be such a good someone to do this because we've made all the mistakes. Mm -hmm. We've made the mistakes, we've learned, and... Uh, I'm going to be in the back heckling you. Okay, cool. You're going to be the first one asked to sit in the corner. Good. <laughs> anyway, um, we just didn't want the day to go by without acknowledging and thanking everybody and letting you know that more retreats are going to come. We promise there is exciting things in the works. Yeah. There is exciting announcements right around the corner. And you will get, you will have a heads up. Mm -hmm. The information will be out there. You'll have time to check it out and, and figure things out with dates and, and cost and everything. Then it will go for sale. I just never, I, we just never imagined in, in, in our wildest dreams that it would be mm -hmm. so fast. I, I don't love that part of it at all. No. So next time we're going to do a, an announcement and let you know what's happening. And yeah. it will have to be a sign up time. We don't like those frenzied sign ups. No. But... And I don't like it when people are disappointed. There's always a limit. And gosh, you know, in a perfect world, it would be everybody. It would be a whole boat of knitters, right? That would be a perfect world. Um, you know, and maybe, you know, we've got to research some other formats. But this one is workshops that we are beyond excited for. And we just can't wait to go to Alaska mm -hmm. and see the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. So this all started from a little comment we made about wouldn't a knitting cruise be cool? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really exciting that that's now. I don't want to get her name wrong, but we're so I know. grateful. I'm thinking Catherine, but I'm not sure if that's right or not. Um, it's not. There's a knitter out there that's her whole fault. It's going to be ongoing. You know what? In my perfect world, I picture three times a year we all get together somewhere. And we all just gather yeah. and um, we are excited to curate these opportunities for us to meet you guys. Yeah, it's our favorite thing. Yeah. Great. Small groups and these, I mean, we've said it for years that retreats are our favorite thing. Yeah. Where you go with a small group of people and you get to have time to connect and learn and you, it's usually in an area that's mm -hmm. so beautiful and you're a little bit of travel is involved so mm -hmm. um i mean we have Susan, ideas we yeah. have ideas um so gr 
hugely grateful. So much gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, anyway, stay tuned. Please sign up for our email newsletter. Yeah. Um, We've now put it at the top of our page. You can't miss it. I saw that. If you go to grocerygirls.com, grocerygirlsknit.com, it's the first thing at the top of the page. You, you cannot miss it. Yeah. I promise you, please We really sign don't up. send a lot, but it is the way we send out our news first. Yeah. There is more very exciting things coming in the very near future. Yeah, I have to say. Sign up. This is actually a good time to go sign up. Yeah. Um, things, are, things are out there. Mm -hmm. Almost out there. Anyway. Okay. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you to everybody. Um, knitting. Woo woo. What's okay. going on? Boom. Jody. Okay, this is going to be a pattern, you guys, but I didn't love how, well, I finished the decreases. Maybe it's polarizing because I did it with navy. I don't. What are we talking about? You don't like the decreases yet? I like the decreases, but I don't like, I guess, how it looks. I don't know. So maybe it is color thing? I think I'm going to have to rework this. But it's going to be... Jolie, uh, it's so beautiful. It's going to be... I don't um, see what you see. A mini set and a full skein. Fun. Yes, fun. Slip stitches, you guys. DK yarn, slip stitches. Say no more. Right. Right? Perfect. Yes, Jody. I love it. It's so beautiful. And I just think... I love the way that It's like that moves. swirl. Yeah, I love it. So... This is fun to knit. It's rhythmic. After the first You've repeat. You've been cranking out the hats, lady. You guys, it's, I'm upset. Well, someone's knitting sweaters for me. I don't have to knit <laughs> sweaters. Look at sweaters. <laughs> Pardon? Sweaters. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> I'm having a hot flush, too. Um, so this was really fun. This is going hot to be mess. in the next, I don't know, month to two months. <gasps> and... Uh, Three M knitters here. We were, and I was just gushing about your knitting. You're a beautiful knitter. Thank you again. No kidding. But, Phenomenal. Um, this is this will be out. Um, who knows? It's almost September. hat season. It's yeah. perfect timing. You know, you'll have it exactly the way you love it. I just have to write it. Okay. I just need to allow myself a day to sit. I down. wrote a pattern this week, <gasps> and I haven't wrote a pattern for a long time, and it's for our awesome fundraiser but it was really nice to sit down and do that i had a really great afternoon writing my hat pattern okay so yes. um we're um please don't pee your pants so I you're having a hot flash and like yeah i'll try she not to. totally knows oh my god she knows you um we are deep in it tracy showed her pattern last time of the beautiful hat for our uh fundraiser I have, I have something else to show today but yes we're in um, it we're in it i have some um Amazing things to show today. If people don't know, it is um, for breast cancer this October again. I think it's, I think it's our fourth or fifth year with Thread and Maple and Louie and Lola Yarns, Karina. Um, it was a huge because of everyone's donations. It was a huge success last year, forty thousand yeah. dollars to Australia and can Canadian breast cancer, and uh, we're doing it again. Hmm, it's on. So I'm like, can we show down. what you just had? Yes, we can. So there were amazing donations come in. And what we do is we create prize parcels every day. And your donations are entries to win prizes. So amazing friends and incredible dyers are so generous. And they send pink things. It's pink. It's breast cancer. It's a very pink fundraiser. This We, we have reached out to um, a lot of people. And Adela was one of the first. Thank you, Adela. The first thing I have received. I think Adela secretly loves pink. It's a big secret. Yeah. But. So Adela sent two prize packs, what? you guys. So there's three Here. skeins of yarn. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And then this amazing, I don't want to take it out because it's all wrapped so beautifully. Her beautiful journal. Yes. And it's got the pen. Pencil. Yeah. <gasps> you guys. So there was, oh, get out of town. What is that? So if you guys remember, Thank Tracy you, Adela. photographs daily prize packs for, what is it, a week worth? I have to, don't ask me details yeah. yet. Um, it's five or six days leading up to. So these will be featured. You purchase tickets and that's how we raise money to win the, the daily prize packs. And we had so many last year, there was more than one prize a day. So yeah. this day, we will make two prizes 
of this. Yeah. So Lola Bean. You guys Yarn, won't Go-Go. believe what we have. Anyway, you can see lots on our Instagram page if you like. We're gonna win. We are. You know, breast cancer is something that it seems like so many people are connected to through personal experience or family experience and i feel like that's one of the things they really think that they can cure so yeah. we're we're here Whatever for little part we can yeah, do small part but some fun little banter with the australian team yeah. it's fun it, it makes is. us want to you know raise every penny because it's such a cause and you will get dear, emails dear. from us so if you get our newsletter emails you're going to get lots of information and uh, ways to donate and all that other kind of fun stuff. So you'll be in the loop. That's all. The link to our show notes, as always, we haven't said this in a while, will be down below. It's in Ravelry. You'll see the link by the date in the Ravelry threads, but also to sign up for our newsletter, grocergirls.com will be down in the description box as well. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you for the generosity and the support of Mm -hmm. especially... Anyone that sends to support this, we could never do it without the makers. Oh. So Adela, thank you thank for you. We know thank you here. for digging out the pinks. I know she, you secretly loved it. I found when we were in Target in Seattle these great boy shorts that I'm loving to sleep in. They're underwear, but they're like super stretchy. They're nylon. They're little boy shorts. Can they're, you just see everything when you're wearing them? What do you mean? Oh, they're tight. Oh, they're just underwear. Sorry, I thought they were like you <laughs> see know those, what my you labia. Know, I was picturing when you said shorts that they were like, and you said super big and uh, that they were Oh, super... boy shorts. They're stretchy, but yeah, they're yeah, fitted, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're nice. Little, like boy shorts. Yeah. And so I had a whole bunch sent to Adela and then this prize came in. I didn't know what she sent. She said it's in there and it was such a fun, um, fun so package fun. to open. Yeah. So fun I and thought, oh meaningful. Oh my God, I ordered yarn. Yeah. Bobby, what's... Is Bobby having a hard Bobby, time? Bobby, are you I'm going? Sorry. I missed the whole review. beginning of this, but I found the best way was just to sit them down. I'm so sorry, we missed I'm it. I'm so sorry. Um, good morning, Nancy. Nancy. Um, okay, I'm done my coffee. I'm gonna pivot to Dr. Pepper. You're so funny. Mm. So many sad stories on here. I'm yeah. so sorry to hear everybody, and that's. That's one you know, of the reasons why we love to get behind a fundraiser like this, because every little bit helps. It really does. Yeah. It really does. Speaking of, I would just love to pivot once more to our friend, Gregory Stitch. <gasps> yes. Gregory Stitch is an incredible knitwear designer, no, crochet wear designer, next level the 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 top most level i couture before i even knew anything about him i was blown away by the the pieces that he makes i I, we've been admirers for so long we adore him and yeah have totally fallen like he's fantastic but um Dresses like I've never seen, and they're all crocheted. Yeah, let me get, let me pick up some of his dress. Anyway, he, he's doing um, a crochet fashion show. Yeah, it's called El Fuego, and it is coming up right around the corner. But events like this aren't going to happen without the support of. Show him in that awesome jumpsuit thing. Okay. So oh, we Adela have... said he's only a thousand dollars away. <gasps> We're going to help him reach his goal. So, if you go to GregorySTitch.com, I'm going to confirm this. Ah, look at this. This is, ah. Like, he's so fashion forward. Like, he is, okay, let me just go up to the top because I don't want to get any of this wrong. So, he's fundraising for things like, The venue and some catering. Like he wants to make this a next level event, like a like a real couture fashion show event. So I want to go to there's okay, let me just say this. There's also tickets that you can do for a virtual. It's going to be streamed. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's gonna be streamed. So it's a twenty dollar ticket for a virtual. It's a fifty dollar for an in person ticket. And it's $100 for a VIP experience. Really? In person, right? That There's would a be $20. Amazing. I the, wish. Yeah. 
But there is that's also, what I would like to go do. There is also a fundraiser. Um, we have the- there's also a GoFundMe. It's it's so- El Fuego, and it's like I said, we're gonna put that. Um, Adela just said it's in the Lola Bean Yarn Co. in her link. We're it's a Gregory Stitches in Instagram our stories again today. It was in yesterday yeah. because I saw it on Adela's, and of course, you know if if everybody sent five dollars, he you know it would be done before you know it. This I is... know that's anyway. If you're able, of course. Yes, he is raising funds because he wants to showcase. An official launch for her first ever standalone show. I love it when a community can come together and where every little bit makes a huge difference, right? Something like five dollars, you think, oh, that's not enough to help. It is absolutely enough you guys, to make things work. The if fifty thousand of us gave five dollars, yeah, you, no, but yes. like I'm just yes, like. like it if 50,000 of us gave us a dollar. Exactly. Anyway. A dollar. Exactly. Please, if you can, support Gregory. We love him. We support him. We think he is a great... I love that this is such a... You know, his vision is such a huge, beautiful event for a fiber-related thing. Right? He wants to be it to be the high fashion. He wants to highlight it and showcase the artists that are out there. I love that. I love it. So yes, we will make sure him. we share the link. Yeah, you guys. He the and stuff. And follow him. You're gonna just love what his the stuff he puts out is ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway, um, Gregory Stitch and Bobby. Him. I did just see that you've just recently been diagnosed with breast cancer. We are sending <gasps> Bobby. our love and support and best vibes for you to beat this. And you got this, Bobby. Heal. Yeah, yeah. You got it. We do this for you and every other woman. That has been touched with breast cancer. Yeah. We are doing this for you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Pivot. Pivot. Jim Yarn. Okay. I will show briefly my, um, I want to show my little cowl that I was working on. So this year for the breast cancer kit, it's a com- combination pattern. You get two patterns. I didn't know that. Two skeins of yarn, two patterns. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what's going on here. These you get be- the hat too? Yeah, yeah. Tracy. So, if I was more organized, I would be finished, but this is, oh my gosh. First of all, I can't get over the yarn, you guys. Yak Silk Merino. Stunning. It's got the sheen of the silk. It's got the drape. It is cozy. Um, I just wanted something classic, but a little bit, you know, a little bit pretty and, and easy. It's super intuitive, and I'm I'm actually loving knitting it. So, um, but something that I didn't work on it a lot when I was away on our trip because I forgot my tiny scale. And these <sighs> are, I know, right? What's the matter? I know, fail packing, fail. But these little things, I've had this thing forever. I think it was less than twenty dollars on Amazon. I think even local yarn shops sell it now. But it's a it's a tiny digital scale and when you're working with mini skeins or you know trying to figure out how far you can make yarn go this thing is invaluable you may think you're not going to use it very much but i promise you you will end up you'll end up using it yeah and it's super handy and there's no substitute for it other than just winging it and trying thinking cross your fingers maybe i've got enough yeah but this this when you need it you need it you do and it can give you a huge amount of peace of mind when you're knitting something to know, and you skip the ripping back. Mm-hmm. Hello for like that kind of thing. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Adela. Rude. She judges me every day. I'm so used to it. Here's my here's my one suggestion for you because I'll, I'll forget to do it. What when you're doing a knit like this? Yeah, and there's not enough time in the day. I suggest getting that started and sending it to someone who could knit it, finish it for you. Right. So you could actually. I never think of that ever. I never think of asking for help. There's people out there that love to knit and love to do that. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. I don't know what I'm. I know you're right. You you get it started and you know what it's going to be. I appreciate. Send it off. 
I appreciate the reminder, yeah. Jode, because I don't think of that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, of course, if you love to knit it. And well, I do. It. It's not even but about that. Sometimes, love... sometimes it's time. Your time is worth something, right? Yes. So if you're always knitting for other people because they're asking for things and you don't get time to knit for yourself, you know, your time is worth something. Yeah. And your time might be, if you think, is it well more well suited for me to start this off and know what the pattern is right. and then send it off to someone to be back in a couple of weeks? That way the pattern's done. It's ready to go. It's You're so right. It's test knit. Kind. I might actually follow that path because I do need um, a hat knit. So yeah, I changed my pattern a little bit from the hat I showed last week. So I need a new sample, which I was just going to knit myself. No. But maybe I will reach out and ask for someone. Why doesn't anyone who, it, it's got to be Canadian. They've got to yeah. be kind of close. Yeah. And they've got to have a fairly quick, turn. you have to be a fairly quick turnaround. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a hat. Email us or emails down below. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Hello. Thanks, thanks for show. organizing my crap. I'm Jody. Keep it Listen, real. I'm totally appreciative. I really am. Keeping it real. There, there you go. That's how we do business meetings. You guys, done. Um, oh my God, you guys. Okay. Too much miracle bomb. I'm glowing. Did you guys see that Jacqueline Sislak? No, I'm not saying that right. Sislak. Yes, I did. It's called Chroma. And guess what yarn it's in? Brooklyn Tweed. Right? Yes. Yeah. Hang on to that. I was like, geez, did I, is that right? I, first of all, humongous giant fan of all Jacqueline Seaslack. Are you making one? Are you what? gonna have a friend make you? It's <laughs> Is Anne gonna knit one? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Anne? Not. <laughs> I think Sheila. You're I'm gonna hoop. reach out to Sheila. You're a hoop. Yeah. Okay, look, color blocking, yes. Right? Yes. I mean, she's look. a doll. I adore, okay. First of all, so I, ad talented. I adored this sweater just by looking at it. And then I kind of like squealed with joy when I saw what it was knit with. I mean, look at this. Look at the fun co color blocking. Yes. Like and when you, when naming you... something is not easy. Chroma, perfect. Yeah. So good. So I brought a couple of, uh, I just grabbed before I left some skeins that was in my stash because you know how much I adore. Jody, this is so funny. I was just about Jody. to talk. My next thing is Brooklyn Tweed um, Shelter. This is wild. It's like we planned yes. it. Yes. Okay, show us. So I brought a couple of options. I love the giant, um, the huge contrast between the two that this sweater mimics. Yeah. I would absolutely have a pocket added. I feel like I might go for this option where the pocket is like color on color. Yeah. I don't know if I want to highlight my pouch. And that's, right everybody can make that choice exactly. for themselves, which is so fun. But I love that the sleeves are a different color. But like... And there's a million options in shelter. There's other yarn suggestions for the pattern, but... Okay, what do I love about this? I love the boxy shape. I love that it's worsted weight. I love that you can choose your own color. Maybe you're a low contrast knitter. Maybe you want to use... And I love that it could be a total stash buster because you don't need a whole sweater yes. quantity of anything. Yes. So you can have a couple of skeins of mm -hmm. worsted weight and that's... Maybe a third of your sweater. Oh, okay. So I don't, I'm sorry, I didn't catch, I, I'm forgetting your first, she's knitting her shawls with brush, Blushing Bride. Ooh. Her daughter and her soon-to-be daughter-in-law are getting married. What? And she reached out to me because she wanted to make sure that she bought from a company who was inclusive and supported LGBTQ and she... We had the most amazing Isn't that time. Nice. Yeah, I like I had, and so she got she's knitting shawls for her mother and new soon to be mother in law. So they're herself. gonna all have like the same color. Marion, yes. Mm. It was so nice. Anyway, that's so good nice. Good morning. So Brooklyn Tree Shelter. I feel like I want to knit, get this. Knit. I love it. Jody, love. I love it. That's a great combo. I'm totally loving like the black and white. I mean, come on. It's I can't wait to start seeing the the other examples of this. And yeah. I'm assuming this is worsted weight. It is in shelter, right? It is shelter, yeah. Okay. That's what her samples are knit with. Okay. And it's also the tones. 
Like it's three right. different Brooklyn right. Tree yarns. So, I mean, I it would I be swear. really fun to do it in tones where it's the same yes. color on the light and dark base. Yes. Right? So yeah. it would it would be lower contrast. It yes. would look so cool. Isn't it good? Yes. I mean, this kind of thing gets me really, really excited. This is my vibe. This is totally my jam. Joey, cast one on. I feel like it. Send it to Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy yarn and send it to her. You're hilarious. Okay. So because I've been working on other projects and because I've been... Here's the thing. Linda, <laughs> take a seat. Um... You know in Smartless how they're always talking to Tracy? Yeah. The Smartless podcast, they're talking to... Uh, We're talking Sean. either to Bob or We're Linda. We're talking to Linda. Bob and Linda. There are people. Um, okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> what excuse are you going to make? All right. Okay. Last fall, I fell in love with the Eclair sweater. Mm -hmm. Peak. Sneak peek. Uh -huh, from uh -huh. Laura Penrose. Uh -huh. What do I do? Uh-huh. Slide into her DMs. Because you have and so say, much knitting time. I would love to test knit that. If, if, you, if you're looking for a knitter, I would love it. I have the perfect yarn already. Okay. Um, and cables are my jam. Okay. Uh-huh. And so she was so gracious and, of course, said, yes, of course. Um, so I started knitting. It was awesome. I loved every damn stitch. And I have half a sweater... But I have not done anything since the test knit ended, like in January or something. Do you want to know what I think? Not really. <laughs> A, you shouldn't have put your name in for the test knit. No. Okay. No, no. This, this is like... what I think. I feel like you're going to get a, a reinvigorated inspiration to finish. Don't okay. beat yourself up. I'm not. I'm Give not Give yourself really. some grace. All right. All right. Okay. Here's the thing. I sort of have turned into a monogamous knitter. So mm -hmm. I would this aside <laughs> but I would cast on something finish it cast on something finish it so this has just been sitting there like crying in the, crying in the corner and I've been totally dying to cast something on I am working on my tessellated vest I will be 55 when that's finished it's so good though <laughs> but I love it yeah um just too much has gotten in the way away on the way of it I've so I've been too busy knitting a cowl <laughs> That's the worst excuse ever. <laughs> but I'm dying. Like, you know how as a maker, you're dying to, like, go through the process of swatching and picking out yarn and picking out a pattern and starting something fresh and shiny and new. Um, I'm here to ask for your support and say, keep me accountable. Tell me, no. Tracy, you have half a sweater. Finish Cast this. Else on. <laughs> Cast everything The worst on. part is. You're not asking. Ask them because you're I not asking I'm not the right asking person. You. I'm totally not asking you. I know what Jody's gonna say. Because here's the thing: I'm craving mohair. I'm craving hot pink. This is another thing that I knit this week. Oh, what? Oh my god! You I know. Sweater. I know. Cast that on. Could you have it done before Knit City? It depends what pattern I picked. <laughs> um, I totally could have it done before Knit City, which is in a few days. Don't few knit weeks. yourself into a injury oh no i'm a finely tuned knitting athlete <laughs> i'm sure in actual sports i would injure myself you know who i miss but in knitting not so much um carson god i love that man i know anyway we'll run into him again keep going wow it just popped into my head okay when i said knitting injury oh yeah yeah of course i'm like how did we my get there brain. yeah right right brit said do it Listen, Cast it on. Okay, I love you guys. I love it. Here's the thing. You love this sweater enough that you went into her test knit. It will get done. It just might not be in 2023. Wow. <laughs> You're totally right. <laughs> right? But. I mean. It, yeah. Do you love it enough? No, no. Because you love it enough to I have gone into the test knit. I still am obsessed. Look at the cables. This is such a beautiful. It's a raglan sweater cable design. The bobbles are optional. It's actually super intuitive. I'm, I'm definitely not looking at the pattern anymore. Um, she has created this amazing chart for all the sizes for the raglan, for like what the pattern is as you go. It's Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. This yarn is a dream yarn for me. I wanted to knit. This is the color postcard. 
Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. I have wanted to knit something Brooklyn in it. Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. I've wanted to knit something in it my whole knitting life since I've seen it. And I just love this. So, yes, I want to get it done. Could I get this done by Knit City? I have an idea. Uh-oh. I think you should wear do this for Knit City. Or you don't have a lot of knitting left on this. What are you talking about? Jody. You're, oh. Yes, you're right. Like, you're right. Also, this was my second idea. Uh-oh. 30 minutes a day. First idea, scrap it, cast on pink. Yeah. Second idea, wait, finish it. Third idea, 30 minutes a day. Yeah. But I mean, that's the thing. Maybe now I just do this and I just forget about the tessellated for a little bit. I agree. Do it. I think you that's should. That's on a 3.5 millimeter needle. But listen, Magenta's calling my name. I just want to tell everybody what this is. This is Frankie Gray Fibers DK and Mohair in Viva Magenta. It's so good. And... A very beautiful sparkle. I have to get up and get the sparkle for you guys because I don't know the name of it. Okay. Is this sad? Bet, you don't even have to get up because Amanda will tell you. But. I want to show. But. This is the tone on tone where you don't see the thread. Right. And you just catch. Like my black. You just catch the sparkle. Right. So this is. You, ha you have to get this at the bling bar at Crafty Jackalope. This is the Ella Ray Sequin City in the color Dragon Fruit. It's crazy gorgeous. What? Yeah. What? What? Crazy gorgeous. I'm just going to grab something while you talk I, about that. I mean, I'm so... Mohair is like a fuzzy sweater is pretty much my favorite thing ever. The subtle sparkle of this is just almost too much to handle. I love it so much. Maybe someone else can cast something on and I can live through you vicariously. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really do think I should cast on the hot pink. It's been calling my name. Hot pink sweaters have been calling my name. So I might just have to like do it. Okay. I love it. The color is so inspiring. This but is also what I, I said in January. I need to knit. This is the color of 2023. Yeah. 2023 is almost over. I wonder what the next color will be. I don't know. I hope it's something I like because I've decided I'm going to knit the color every year. But it, there's an asterisk. Put a pin in it. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. This I'm so glad you brought perfectly that. Perfectly transitions. Oh, my goodness. Um, into Amanda's brand new shawl. It's out yesterday. Yep. Um, there's a 25% off code. All the Crafty Jackalope patterns. Use TCJ25 at checkout, but this is her brand new shawl. It's called Tiny Dots. It's a triangle shawl. My favorite. There's little baubles. There's beautiful feather. Is it feather and fan? Yes. And sparkle. It's awesome. And she has made kits at the Crafty Jackalope. She's made neutral. She's made a Barbie can. A can. She's made super, super fun kits, and that includes the two yarns and the sparkle. So it's a, a kit that combines... Two colors and a sequin, mega sequin, I think. You know what I'm so bummed about? No. I forgot to bring my stitch markers. I bought stitch markers. I'm just going to the Crafty Jackal. I also think this is worsted weight. Amanda, yes? Worsted weight? So, I'm sorry. This could be done lickety split. Yeah. Lickety split. It is... Um, it's Again, it's one of those projects, you guys, that you can layer... And this, to me, is um, totally, I'm just gonna like, this is very satisfying for me to knit. Stripes and this super simple um, eyelet pattern that creates the waves, it mm -hmm. is my, one of my favorite things to do. And a I do love shot. it. Okay, Tiny I'm just going to search dots. Okay, Amanda, you should put that on your homepage at the top. Okay, wow, you're bossy. I love show that tone on tone one. Okay, like, it's really it's really great. She knit so many samples to share. I just used the search the magnifying glass and I just searched dots. It's also if you go to kits, it's right there. But here's some options. It looks like she's got everybody covered. This one, <gasps> gray. I know. Oh, so that's got a little bit of a goldish yes, sparkle. Yes, it's going to be phenomenal. Ooh, a dark one. We all have. What's this? Oh, so, so fun. fun. Yeah. 
No. So good. And always so good. you can. Oh, Tracy, look at that. Love. Oh, we've seen that mega bling. Okay. It's so that good. That is amazing. Oh, just it's kind of like mermaidy sequins. That's going to be amazing. Look at this stunning I was, thing. I was looking at that one. Okay, just a minute. There's one more. Let's do it. And then I, my sweaters were like focused. So it's cream. The one I just showed was like, look like a dove gray. You guys. So amazing new shawl. We don't talk about shawls a lot. This Let me tell you, I haven't gorgeous. had a shawl for a long time, and that one totally calling my gorgeous. name. Not kidding at all. When she's been sneak peeking it. Love it. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, this was our Rhinebeck bag. This is Tanny Casey. This was her bag at Prado Delana. And this is. Did she make more? Hansi. Hans. Did she sew these herself? Yes, she did. This is Tanny she? Casey. Yeah. So she, it's an, actually a canvas. Um, bucket. So there's Tanny Casey right there. I'm it's a canvas bucket and they were at the Prado Delana booth. Um, so you can check out their shop. I don't know what's going on, but it is almost Rhinebeck time again. Maybe they're collaborating. I don't know what's going on. If it's a phenomenal bucket. You need it. I was going to say that could be an every year purchase. Get a new one. If she a new sheet. Every year. Wouldn't that be great? Um, if we weren't doing um, our October retreat uh, with Knit Social, I would say, let's go to Rhino. <laughs> Listen, there's so many good fibery things that happen in the fall. There's sacred sheep coming up in November, which we actually don't have anything going on. Let me tell you, it's still. Listen, we sacred sheep we is in the maybe go column. To, sacred sheep is in the, oh my gosh, I would really Tracy, like to think go. of all the sweaters we could wear. Portland, it's an hour and a half. You do not have to sell it to me. Okay. <laughs> Just let me know what time you want to leave, <laughs> okay. and I'll book the flight. Anyway, Sacred Sheep is in Portland. It's, again, a brand new festival, first year, uh, put on by Rachel of Ritual Dyes, so you should check that out. Um, I have no doubt that it's just going to be amazing. I feel like... We should go. I, I think we're going to go. We should go. Yeah. Star says she lives in Portland, <gasps> which I knew. Adela's going to be there. Lola Bean Yarn. So many. If you go to Sacred Sheep Instagram, they've been sharing all the vendors and Adela the info. Adela said she'll go if we'll go. Isn't she already going? Yes. Okay. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Okay, so just all the reasons. Like, there's just so I many reasons to go. Well, how many reasons do we have not to go? Zero. I think we just decided we're going to Sacred oh Sheep. Oh, my gosh. Amanda. Amanda. Let's meet at Sacred Sheep. We'll make a plan. I'll we'll text pick you, you up. Um, okay, I want to share something that I had last time and did not get around to it. How far is the drive from Vancouver Boom. to Portland? Five minutes? 45 maybe? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, H remember when I showed the bag in this and I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to make such a good granny square prize. This is Blueberry Gap. Oops, just a sec. I don't want to get thing wrong. Blueberry Gaps. Okay. Her name is Jody. She's in Ontario, London, Ontario, I think. Um, and I went back to her shop to get this shape because now I'm a crocheter. These are all my crochet hooks. <gasps> Isn't that a good idea? Yes. I don't know if she's got them in her shop. I just wanted to share with you. I feel like it's a little bit. She's a beautiful maker. Yeah, totally. Um, I just thought this was a great idea. Like, what am I going to do with all my crochet hooks? I don't know. But I also don't use them all the time. So this is perfect. Okay, Portland's even closer to us than Seattle. Focus. No, I'm still <laughs> thinking of, I'm still on Ritual Dyes and Sacred Sheep. That's so funny. Okay. Um, so I love it. Love, love, love it. I just wanted to share that. It was sitting here from last time. I do love it. Okay, I want to show. Uh huh. Am I allowed to show this? Don't yes. Wait. No, you can show oh, it. Because you've shown yours, right? Yeah, I have. But that's also the next thing. I was really hoping to get that done. Great. In the next few weeks. Yeah. Don't pressure yourself. It'll get done when it gets done. My boss is the worst. Okay. Um, I, did I show this already? No, Jody. Okay, so I cast this on when we went to Seattle. Um, this is going to be Tracy's little shorty sock. It's a DK stripe sock <gasps> that I was just crazy about. And I need to write it up. This is all Frankie Gray fibers. I'm obsessed. It's okay. so much fun to combine colors and do. So good. So I won't go too much into it. Just tell us your colors. Um, okay. The colors are denim, 
No, it's not. Yes, denim. Here. This is blush. This is Barbie girl. This is ochre. So good. And it's just stripes all day. It This basically knit itself. It totally does. Yeah. DK socks do, and especially when you're striping and you're just moving through stripes, it goes so fast. Yeah. So I'm it's also, been... I would love na helping. Actually, I think I have a name, but... Do you? Naming's hard, so I thought maybe if anybody had great names, I would okay. gift them the pattern or whatever. <gasps> okay, but, you guys. Um, I do have one more sock, too. So what do you think? You literally knit that, Jody in no time. That took no time this for you. This was basically on the plane. Yeah. I'm not exaggerating yeah, that either. Yeah, stripes are so fun. Yeah. And DK goes so fast. I actually thought they would be a super cute little gifty sock for yeah. people because it goes so fast and it can be scrappy. Another reason your little scale could come in handy. But I also think having it scrappy, like literally running out of a color and just joining something else exactly. would be adorable. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Adorable. Um, do you want to see the sock? Okay, look. Block Fiber Festival. I love the little merch bag. Love it. Um, this is what I had in my purse when we were traveling. Um, I had... Again, I was just kind of obsessed with stripes, and I just needed to have a plain vanilla sock. So I had wound up, wow, I don't know what I've just done. This is... It's a disaster. I believe it's Pinch Me. It is Pinch Me. Oh, look, me. African Wild Safari. We've got rid of Pinch Me, and it's now, I would go, go with ballet, call it ballet slipper. Okay, ballet slipper, it totally is the color of a ballet. Yeah. It's the perfect name for that color. We just tweaked it a bit, and it's so ballet lovely. slipper, yeah. I love it. And I had this ball of um, All Together Now from Gage Dye Works also wound up. Did you wind that by hand? Yes, because I didn't want um, the whole ball, so I just ha a half wound half. Oh. Isn't it nice when you wind a ball by hand? Yeah. I just want to say. I don't mind it. I have a comment when you show this. Uh-oh. You're so darn creative. Jody. Like, what you're doing here with this striping and when you thought to add, like, a solid... I, I can't even see. I, I can't even. Listen. You're so creative. I thank you. I hope You're you so write this sweet. pattern. Well, I think this is going to be the fingering weight version of that DK sock. It's Same good. idea. It's so No, it's got to be its own pattern. Okay. There is an end of something sticking out here, but let's pretend it's not there. Okay. I was going to trim it off. Um. Okay. I guess we should sew it. Show it. Show what? Your sock. The sock? Okay. <laughs> So I, that's what I did. I just started with a little vanilla sock. And I just started striping. And it's just like that thing, right? Where you're like, ooh, I, what's going to be the next one? What's going to be the next one? Um, and it, I'm going, going, going. And now I've gotten into the blues. It will ch produce a pair. But you're changing stripes. Yeah. So there's a different um, thickness of stripes in the leg as compared to the foot. I knit this one with a heel flap and gusset. You're gonna have, I'm going to create a completely mismatched pair of socks. It will be the same stripe thicknesses, but the colors will be, like this is gonna now go into like, you know, after the blues, we've got purples and pinks and who knows how much you're gonna use. So really a full skein, like honestly, I'll have to weigh my yarn for the next one because you don't need a full skein of yarn to do this, right? Like, I think you might be able to use a 50 gram in the main color, maybe. It's so good. Maybe. Depending how long you do your leg. Do you ever worry? I love doing this. Okay. This is so fun. Do I ever worry about what? Like, I mean, it's, this is so gorgeous. Like, do you ever think, oh my God, are people going to like it? Oh. <laughs> and then I, I never think. People should oh, okay. knit this because then I, look, knit I this. look at what you create and I think I think the shit. I wish I would no. Have I think this. exactly the same thing of your hats. Every single one, I think to myself, it is such a talent to take a simple concept. <laughs> I got to go get your crown, <laughs> but it is it is a sim it is a talent to take a simple concept, a simple stitch, and make it something beautiful that people want to make. Yeah, and that is. You know, I look at my favorite designers and stuff, and so many of them do that. I know. So you're in there. You have less <laughs> teeth than most of them, but 
Okay, no, it's, Tracy, this is next level. Here's what I was going to say. What about you finishing that sock and then write the pattern and send the, the yarn to someone to write, to knit the second? You're, I just hit the microphone and you did it. You I've done that before. Oh my God, stop. Okay, hit the microphone. Oh um, make it stop. Um, sorry, I've totally missed the whole thing. Urban Outfitters oh is my having God. a sale. I don't know what's going on. 40% off something. Oh my God. I just... The only thing... What are you doing? I just... I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Um, S Susan's wondering, can you take ne knitting needles on a plane? Yes, Susan. I have to say, I've never had an issue. I've been worried a lot. One time when we went to Mexico, I was quite worried. And it turned out no problem. Because we've heard lots. But we fly, like, typically just North America from Canada. Mm -hmm. I've never had an issue. One, <laughs> one time, I don't know why. I was, we were going to Knit City or something, and I took a whole bag of knitting needles. And, I keistered one. And it looked like, it looked like <laughs> weapons, like knives in my bag. And they still didn't even ask. And Jody's like, why did you bring that? Tracy I, said, I had, don't know. Tracy had every needle she owned. In this bag. It, it was my carry-on. So and she's surprised like that she got pulled over. Shocked. Anyway, we've never had an issue, and I always um, use Addy metal needles. So, but it's all, I mean, I always tell people, check the airline that you're flying, and then when you're coming home, that country could have totally different regulations mm -hmm. if you're leaving your country. So, sometimes can wouldn't, you fix this? Yeah. Sometimes garbage. Um... Wool, uh, um, what am I trying to say? Wooden needles. Maybe you want to put, yeah. One time, go, first time going to Mexico, yeah. I put wooden needles so I could still knit on a sock. Me too. Thank if, God I didn't have to use them. Yes. That's because my worst. gauge is different and yeah. I don't love DPNs, but I put them in my wallet in mm -hmm. the change part. It still would have worked. I would have been happier yeah. knitting on that than not knitting at all. Can you yeah. imagine getting on like an eight hour flight and they take your needles? Mm -hmm. No. I'd rather not go on the flight. I would be like, no, nope, then I'm not <laughs> going. Right. How do I get a refund? I am not going. You know what? But could you knit with pencils? Yes. It won't probably be the gauge of whatever I've got on my needles. That's but the I other thing. I feel like if you're in the middle of a project mm. and your needles are on something, here's my last tip. If you have interchangeable needles, travel with those and travel with the stoppers. If they make you... Take off the needles. Let me tell you, this is so a long shot. I've never had this happen. But you can literally either just cut off your needles and just keep the project for later or put on the little stoppers that come with your interchangeable needles and you can mail yourself back the needle tips mm -hmm. if they don't let you tape them. There's lots of ways around it. I really never had a bad experience though. So I hope... Uh, Someone suggested um, having a little pencil case yeah, that and too. putting them in there. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. that's a great idea. Yeah, if you're at all worried, take a wooden option. Would be my suggestion. We are all relying on the fact that no knitter loses their mind and stabs their seatmate with needles. Listen, behave on the airplanes, and it should yes. be okay. We as knitters are petrified to have them taken away. We're going to do nothing bad with them to have them taken away. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be on my best best behavior. I promise. Okay, so I did start another hat. Okay, so this is my process. So what I was going to do is, you see, I have, it's DK weight. I have these pearl stitches in the shape of a diamond. And then I was going to mimic it with color work, kind of. But then I realized, I think I want. Oh my gosh, I love it already. I think I want the color work to start between. See, it's right. I know what you're talking about. It's right above. Mm -hmm. Like I was going to mirror it. But Why I'm gonna, can't that be the next color repeat? Because I'm my brain works symmetrically. Okay. Right? Yeah, then I'm so going to pull it back. I'm actually going to do a little swatch. No. Tracy, I said it. Who are you? Um, but so I kind of thought, should I put... See, there's my little four right there. Yeah. Should I put the first stitch and do the diamond of the color work in between those two? Is it an odd number of stitches in between? No, it would work perfectly. Yeah. So if you have an odd number of stitches in between, then that middle would be there, right? Yeah. 
Like you can see it. It naturally gives you a beautiful middle yeah. right there. I would totally so just I can pull just... back to that pearl round, that bottom my, right above your ribbing, my... and then work out your thing So in I thought spot. I would do like maybe three bands of this, and this will be the hat. I love that. Just a little teeny bit of pops of color work. I also have another idea. I want to... Do you? Yes. Um, but this is Whisper and Charcoal. Love it Frankie so Gray. much. So I was knitting this and I thought this was going to be the pattern. Like I would just mirror it and then the next row be the pearls again. Group of pearls and then color work. But that's really pretty. So I have to do a little swatch and see what my eye is telling me. And what's me. your dark color? Charcoal. Pretty. That's such a beautiful combo. Isn't that a beautiful yeah, combo? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what I've been working on. Joey. I only want to knit hats. Is that bad? Nope. I think knit what you love. Exactly. Right? Isn't that what this is all about? I yeah. mean, it's something that... Even if it's a dishcloth. It should make you feel good. Exactly. Not if you love if you love dishcloths, if you love afghans, if you love grannies, like whatever fills you up with this yeah. craft, whatever makes you feel good. That's so Actually, pretty. Actually, I think it's Onyx. It's Onyx and Whisper. Frankie Gray Fibers. Frankie Gray Fibers. But okay. we've been working really hard, so I really don't feel like I've done a ton of knitting. I'm so grateful for the women oh my goodness. That, that knit for me. Yeah. Because I, I love every single one of them because it allows me to still have beautiful things to show and talk about Listen. and do my other things. Listen, here's the thing. I don't I know people don't know. Everybody's busy. We yeah. know that. Everybody's yeah. got a busy life. None of us have enough time. None of us have the amount of time to work on crafts that we want to do. That's sometimes my stress about coming here because maybe I don't have enough to show people to keep them interested and maybe that'll be boring for them. But I feel like we're still talking about crafty things. Mm -hmm. And I, I, when I watch videos, I just love the company. I mm -hmm. do love it when people are showing lots of new knitting for sure. Um, and we do our best. But I think your idea of getting people to help you out because I want it's the a items. Great one. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want the items. And I, lots of them are business samples, mm -hmm. which makes me excited about And then every once in Frankie a while, Gray. I'll slide in something that I, I do really love want. knitting sweaters and socks and I, all that other stuff, too, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. Um, and, I mean, not every time is as busy. There mm -hmm. is a little bit quieter time of the year. So maybe, it, maybe that. Yeah. Um, I have something amazing show. to show. Like, amazing. Show. I haven't even shown you yet. You probably saw it in our Instagram stories, but this is a big, big deal. Mm. I can't wait. Big, you know what? I'm going to go order. Me I too. signed up. I signed up for their newsletter. Okay, here's where we here's where we get into it. Is that your basket? Yeah. Tony Lipsy. T.L. Yarn Crafts. And crochet, obviously. She is <gasps> so phenomenal. Oh. Her Tunisian crochet book makes me want to learn how to cro do Tunisian crochet. Um, and I happened to message her. She, This is her yarn. She collaborated with Hobie. Is that how you say it? Well, she was saying it that way, so okay, I thought it was Hobie. Yeah. But it's Hobie, H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Um, she collaborated with them, and she's created her own yarn yes yeah, she did it is a light dk today is launch day i know it is well no Am midnight I wrong? midnight from what i understand okay. friday is the day like 1201 a.m it will be live um oh you from guys. what i understand but you know what go to tony for all the details because i don't want to mess it up and have you guys mad at me she has so many colors you guys this is the first what does time that feel like to you um, amazing. Butter. <gasps> Soft, you guys. It's so... But not... People always have sometimes an aversion to the way cotton feels. Yeah. And some people don't love... This is it's stunning. It's 50% cotton and 50% <gasps> wool. Just like this is I was telling you how much I love the blend of 50-50 wool cotton. This is so soft. I thought... I didn't know what it could be. This is 100 grams, 250 meters. And I just said to Tony, oh, I'm so excited for you. That is a huge deal. And she said, let me send you some. So here it is. She was so generous. We have 12 colors. Her line, she's got so many colors. She's got solids. And then the Look melange, like a 
like faded denim kind of. So this is the same color, was twisted with the fibers all dyed. And this has, looks like some undyed fiber in there to make it look marled. And believe it or not, this is just some colors. You guys. She said pairs. Like, <gasps> I get it. And I just hope everybody goes to Hobie.com and checks it out. But Tony has her own link. So when you shop... I'm definitely going to click on Tony's link. I'm just that going is how to her website. Right. I, I want to say affiliate. It is a benefit to her if you shop with her link. So mm -hmm. that's what I want to do. Um, you can sign up for her newsletters. They are, um, there's some that are specifically this yarn related and everything will be in there and you can click the link and shop for it. But she's actually going live on Instagram tonight. At 11.30 p.m. <gasps> Eastern Time. Oh, so that's 10. Literally oh. right at the, at the, just before the launch. So she's going to be live. She's going to be sharing about the yarn. Um, I'm just she going to her website. Wonderful and so talented. And um, I would really like to start my first, I mean, we can share this, but I really want to start a crochet blanket. And this to me would be such a... A great choice for that. Okay, I'm going to just show you this because I think we should all know. Okay. There's so many colors. <gasps> you can curate a palette for yourself, but I would Look. suggest, you know, I would suggest maybe knowing your pattern. 37. And, and figuring out kind of how many um, balls you need. Stunning. Oh, come on. She just whipped this up. She's she's really wonderful. And it was so nice meeting her and her mom at Rhinebeck um, next year, <gasps> last year. Hi, puppy. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, Elle. Hi. Um, who let you out This here? woman is fierce. Yeah. She awesome. is brave. She's an incredible... She's so talented. Like, I just... It's just business woman. Yes. I adore watching her and her journey, you guys. I hope everybody's following her. This this color to me yeah. is like a pearl. Oh. It's barely That's a good description. It's a barely gray. This this one is a little bit darker. You can see the difference, but this one really has that pearly. Oh, I just love it. And I cannot tell you how soft and beautiful this feels. It it says on here mach machine wash or wash cold machine wash cold but no dry and no no dryer so lay flat to dry yeah i actually have to figure that out why so there's no hand on here like it doesn't say hand wash lay flat to dry but it does say no dryer if i'm reading that correctly does it say non oh yeah it's just wool so yeah it, will... it doesn't say super no. wash okay wool. you guys okay. i can't believe how soft but the softness is next level what about a striped sweater or whatever. I don't know. It would be really fun to do the stripes with the marled color. Yeah. And, do you call that marled? Melon. Well, they call melange. it melange, which is like to That's me. That's way better looks, than marled. It looks like a faded denim. Acid, like kind of acid wash jeans. I want to say melange better than melange. Marled. Better than acid wash. But it does soften it with that. It gives it that to me that softer. And it is going to look kind of marled when you knit it up. Um. And it, the yarn is called Happy Place. Yeah. Talk about knocking it out of the park with the name. And Jode, yeah. Tony sent candy. <gasps> she knows the way to my heart. Swedish fish treaties and beautiful pins. You can get these on her website. They yeah. might pull Hashtag my... yarn love and a sun. Oh, I love the retro one. Isn't it so cute? Yeah. And this really nice lip balm. I was gonna say I would share with you. It's tinted. It feels amazing. I've been oh using it. Oh my god! It. I used a tinted, a tinted one, and no one. And I usually go around. No one told me when I walked it was out. out of your lips. Yes, I looked like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Do you know, like you go with like like Blistex in the winter sometimes, like out. Oh my god! Like this it looks is... like I overlined my lips by a centimeter. This is Boo Lips, the Bee Queen collection in the color Rosewood. Mm -hmm. It feels awesome. Um, so, so many treats. Thank you, Tony. Congratulations. Uh, I really can't wait to work with this. I literally thought I was going to have crochet, um, granny squares for you guys today. Cause I'm now that I'm a crocheter, I'm kind of missing them. 
Mm, so good. So good. It's going to pull another tooth out. After one, what? who cares? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Tony, thank you for spoiling us. Totally spoiled. Okay. This is delicious. Mm. Swedish I fish? I never buy these. Tracy. So good. Way better than nibs and stuff like that. Way. The flavor is so much better. Okay, do you want to go see what else came mm, out? That was so good. Ooh, I haven't seen that. Summit Loop by Jill Zielinski. What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've seen that. I, mm. I thought it was a sweater. I don't know what I'm looking at. Mm. It is a cowl. It is knit in the round, and then you stitch it together, right? And you twist it when you stitch it. But it's a beautiful, and it's knit in her wool. Northwood, no. North Bay Fiber. No, I was going to say Northwood. Ooh, you that guys, right. so good. I have some right here. Let me you show guys, you. You guys, I adore, number one, these effortless cowls that you just drape on. But I love the color work in this. Listen. I love. This is another Listen Linda moment. It really caught my eye with this. She's going to have kits. So if you want to go over to North Bay Fiber, she will be hooking you up with kits. But it is a worsted weight pattern, I believe. She's an amazing designer. And this yarn they curated. Luke. You guys, it is Soft, non-superwash wool blends. And this one's 100% Cormo, the Elemental. Oh, mm -hmm. I can't even. And her colors are so beautiful, but she's literally got a giant palette now. A giant palette. Oh, it's sport. It's worth, we're in her heritage sport. Okay, because she's got. For some reason, I thought it was worse. This is like <gasps> the DK. Come on, I've already wound up yarn. Okay, like to make a sweater. She's so cool. Yeah, she really is. She's but look awesome. what she's done. A little jean jacket and a black tee, and you just throw that on. This super caught my eye. Yeah. To wear. I love those style of cowls. And I and it's just the cool graphic, right? That stuff is also, if you like color work, that is really fun to knit because there's no big floats. Just moving along. And that reminds me, somebody sent a message about, can you show me your floats on your tessellated or whatever because she said hers, no. hers are too short and the the literally it's so simple and it's the only tip I have to give you just make sure you spread out the stitches on your right hand needle so that when you're bringing the new yarn around it has longer to travel if your stitches are all scrunched up your float will be very short and that makes things tight but if you spread out the stitches on your right needle before you pull There's around lots your float, of, of of play in my totally and it makes not... things stretchy and gives you room to block and it is not it doesn't make things pucker it doesn't make things tight and once you start doing that i feel like i don't even think about it anymore That's it's just part of the way tip. i knit so when you're doing color work this is going to be my left needle i like it having bunched up right so you've got needles re or your stitches ready to go but this needle is going to have my stitches I don't want them bunched. That's going to provide me no room for floats. So you want to make sure your right needle looks more like that. Yeah. The stitches that you've already knit, and now you're going to bring around your yarn to make a float, mm -hmm. spread out those stitches before you bring that yarn around, and it'll have a longer way to travel. Yeah. And it's not, honestly, it See? sounds so simple. I love it when a, when a solution to something is simple, and it's really just training yourself to do that, and... I feel like you're going to get in that groove and just do it without thinking. That one tip, if there's anything you take away for color work, is that that changed my color work. It does. And it's very disheartening to go to all the work of knitting a color work project and having it pucker and look weird or you can't Stretch block those it. Out. It's not attractive. This will change all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, you guys. Yeah. Promise, totally. promise. That's a great tip, and it's super easy. Okay, what else do you have? Um, okay, this is fun. Guys, we're not rushing today because we're plugged in. And yet, I feel like we're not going to have um, as long, which is okay, too. But I wanted to share with you, and this is a maker that we've talked about for years, and she's amazing, and she's local, Studio Britta. Oh, she is... We met her at our first Edmonton yeah. fiber, no, fiber, no, what's it called? I should have dug out my project bags from her. She really is an amazing 
sewing artist and she creates very unique things, some patchwork, some she's machine embroidery maker. with words and stuff. She's amazing. She had in her shop, she has a shop on Etsy, Studio Britta. This is a little notebook and it's got a little pocket here, but it's all done with her, you know, it's all quilted with a cute little button. I thought these would make really nice things to put in our knit along prizes. And she, you could use that. yeah. So I got a few. This one is yarn balls and they're all going to be different, right? She's yeah. using her little stash. This is sheep knitting, but this is the perfect size for your notes and you can just stick it in your project bag. Um, and she, I don't, I don't know if I bought this or she sent it, but it's also super cute. She's oh, also got that. stuff for embroidery. So this mm. is a little, um, this is a tiny thing. She's got her business card in it, but you can put whatever you want in here. It's just a tiny storage thing. Mm -hmm. hmm, it says card holder, but I know we can figure out something to put in there. Studio Britta. And she is so wonderful much. and she's local. But some people even have business cards, right? So they could, this is, would yeah. be beautiful, perfect for that. Yeah, it is. I can't believe, yeah. Um, but she sent along this beautiful, <gasps> Oh, this wow. is a project planner, I want to say. Oh, is it ever? you? <gasps> That's awesome. It is totally awesome. Look, it even comes with a notebook. It's got a zippered pouch. It's got room for needles and hooks and all those kinds of things. That would be a great Your thing pattern. To either put in a sweater bag yeah. as you're knitting or a takeaway. Anything Holiday. like that. So this is, this is, oh, when you look on her shop, I don't know what it's going to be called. Um, I want to say something about project pouch or project book or something like that. Um, but there is so much work in here with all of these little pouches and zippered to keep all your notions together. And then the whole thing just magnets shut and you shove it in your bag. It's beautiful. Thank you, Britta. She sent this for us to make sure that it gets a new home. I think, I know knitters will appreciate and love a handmade project like this. I love her stuff. Georgia, we're podcasting. Yeah. Geez. Keep it down. Jeez, uh, priorities. Close that door a little quieter. Come on. Um, being a sewer. Mm -hmm. um, not to this level, right. but being a sewer, knowing how much goes into the this, detail, and right? the pieces, and the finesse, and the top stitching, that's, it's beautiful. And everything of hers is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, you're right. You can see that, you know, she's passionate about what she does, and she's an artist, and it's just really, really, really lovely. So, I love that. Thank you, Studio Britta. Totally. And she's local. Like, when I order something, it comes so fast. She's literally in Edmonton. Do you know, I've been starting my day. I have the best start to my day. The dogs don't get up, or the cats, until I get up. Really? And then I give them treats, and then I feed them, and let them out and stuff. And then I've been saying, today's going to be a good day. Do you know what? Set like, your intention. Just be intention. Be Intentional. Yes. That's the word. Mindful. Be intentional to say today is going to be a good day. Yeah. yeah. And really, you guys, starting off my day that way has been so good. It is it is life-changing when you do stuff like that. And I know it sounds like woo-woo and weird and whatever. No. But your mindset, I do think, is something that we can shift. Right? Yeah. And we understand. Even when you're feeling overwhelmed. Not everything goes well and everybody has absolute struggles. But if you say today's going to be a good day, I just think that yeah. intention of hopefully making it that way is a and great And good mind. doesn't mean perfect. No. And you can even at the end of the day try and find something that was good that yeah. day. Um, but you're right. It's like, okay. And, and it's, we're all overwhelmed. We all have stuff on our plate. Nothing. We're all, we all have things that are stressful or whatever. That is not the case at all. That's the truth. Um, it made my cat throw up on the floor this morning. Not so bad. See, there you go. Right. Hairball throw up. Not so bad. Gross. Yeah. Uh, one more Swedish fish. Uh -huh. Okay. Who was going to tell me about Pinterest and how amazing it was? Oh, really? You know like, what? I'll be honest. I don't use Pinterest a lot, but it is... I had no idea. I used to use it when we were, like, um, building our, our house. 
I was doing like there's so much more like fall color inspo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, like amazing. for a yarn dyer, that's like gold, right? I love that. I love that. Okay, well, whatever. I, now I'm kind of like I was down a Pinterest hole the other day. I have. I'm just looking at this, and I have three Canadian artists that I love. Really sitting here. Yeah. Okay. Did you? I have a new podcast, and it's called The Diary of a CEO. Okay, where did I hear about that? Whose is that? It's That name rings a bell. I didn't write his name down, but he has a, it's, there. you can watch it on YouTube where he's got the guest. Okay. And I believe you can watch it anywhere podcasts are, but he interviews. Bi like it's, business people? It's not just business people. It's everybody you can imagine from like business people to a celebrity to um, everyone in between. Like life lessons? Molly Bloom. Okay. Who inspired the movie, was it of the same name? Molly Bloom? No. Do you know she was the one who was curating those poker games oh yeah 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 with celebrities yeah, 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 and yeah, it was yeah. jessica chastain starring yes, in the movie i don't think it wasn't thing. called that but. it was so good anyway she was just on here it was okay incredible also um the or you know you the, need to text me this stuff. you know the brand the ordinary no okay it is such an affordable brand they've got everything under the sun uh face care it's bought at Sephora. The Ordinary. It's called The Ordinary, and it's plain packaging. Mm. Plain, it's very Sonder yarn-ish. I totally aesthetic. get out of, I totally get overwhelmed in Sephora. I'm not surprised okay. I haven't seen her this. Her name is Nicola Kilmer. Okay. Her and her partner started this brand, and it's an umbrella of stuff, and it, like, skyrocketed. Please go listen to this podcast. He's now dead. Under this mysterious her and her circumstance, partner? no, that's just her him. Yeah, oh. and he was really. Is she the one that they think killed her? She killed her husband. No. Oh, okay. This okay. So the ordinary with Nicola Kilmer was another one I listened to immediately after the Molly Bloom one. So that's their own podcast, the or is that on no, Diary sorry. of a CEO? They were both on Diary of a CEO. Okay. It was so good. Okay. And it's funny because Jordan bought. Some of this, the ordinary. Does she like it? When we were, yes. I'm all for. So is it like more affordably priced? Is that oh, what this is? Too? A serum would be twelve dollars. What? Yes. Listen, I I have a tiny bit of a grudge with beauty, like where it's, you know, so yeah. expensive. Because I don't believe you have to pay a lot to get that's their, good stuff. That's that's. Her I feel whole... like a lot of that is inflated. For marketing and just people think, oh, if it's one hundred and twenty-five dollars, it must be good. No, no twelve. Let me tell you, I bought stuff that is that price, and I don't yeah. feel like it's better than the whatever yeah. at the drugstore that I used. Also, for and I like listening to podcasts. Just me too. Just listening, but I love to actually be able to see it on his YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go follow Jody. Go I'm check in. Out Dial I'm in. So good. Okay, thank you. I love okay. that kind of recommendation. Sounds good. Okay. Arona Buku, amazing artist, also has a new book coming out. I can't even wait. What is the book? It's about um, creative patchwork, mm. which she's so amazing with. But every year she does a calendar. Oh. And she does a cloth version, a, oh. a lint, and a paper version. And I bought them both. Did you really? Is I don't even use calendars. I know. But <laughs> I missed it out last year. So this is her art style. Every little bloom in the pot and everything is a month worth of days. I'm assuming this is like, is this a tea towel when I'm done? Do you hang it and frame it when you're done? I don't know what you do. I don't I know what like you do. I would. I love using my things. Use it. Get it I feel dirty. Like so too. Yeah. Because um, it's, it's beautiful. It should be. It's used. like a. It's like a very. It's like a linen, linen. kind yeah. of. Like I would. You would do embroidery or something on. Or maybe it's too tight of a weave for that. But anyway. It's lovely, and I love the natural color palette. And then she also does this um, beautiful printed version. I'm showing this because I think you can still get it in her shop, you guys. But here's, this is all like her hand painted. These are printed, of course. But there's, 
January. Oh, those are beautiful. February. She's such a talented artist. I just love her style. We were lucky. It's fresh. And it's... it is. And mm. another one that just takes simple things mm, and makes it beautiful. amazing, right? Is that July? That is May. Oh. Uh, there's June. There's oh, July. I, I love, love it. it. Um, and we were lucky enough to take a punch needle class from her. It was great. That's why my punch needle is so amazing. That's what the class was, you guys. You finished that in the class. Yeah. If you were fast enough. Well, I barely had anything left to do. Look at September. Oh. Isn't that pretty? So it doesn't have a hole or anything in it. I think even like a cluster of it framed. Yeah, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? October is out of this world. Wow. Is the I calendar love... all on the bottom of each one? Yeah. You know what I'm picturing? No. Af oh. That's stunning. Yes. You know what I'm picturing after the year? Oh, December's in the middle. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, beautiful. Cutting off the calendar at the bottom and framing them. You Or frame them with the calendar in it. Yeah, I just love everything she does. Just crazy talented. Yeah. And now she's got the books on, you know, her embroidery and then her punch needle book and... This new one coming out. Oh, speaking of books, we have to, I have to do this. I have to share because I am so excited about a new book coming out. And I think a lot of these makers will be too, but I want to share it really quick. Andrea Rangel has, remember she had the beautiful alternate stitch mm -hmm. dictionary a few years ago. She's come out with a sequel like her next um color work stitch dictionary it's called knit ovation it comes out october 10th mm. but pre-orders are kind of a big deal for authors i guess so i think pre-order if you're gonna buy it anyway a pre-order would be amazing and if you do you get three extra motifs that are not in the book so you can't so free free, oh, yeah. free that just comes with your pre-order so she is another amazing talent and these are all so unique her stitch yeah, patterns yeah she's really fun you guys there's panda bears like come on it's so cute so i i can't remember if i've pre-ordered this book already or not because i'll have to go look into it but i 100 percent, i'm yes. gonna get it so. and we have a copy coming that we get to do a giveaway for you guys we're gonna do a really nice review how is he mowing the lawn? It's soaking wet. He's got a, it's just a blower. He's just blowing. Is something. he drying the yard, the yard before he cuts right, it? Right. Giving it a little fluff up. Fluff and blow dry. Do you guys, I love that so much. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. These stopped me in my tracks. I have not seen those. Oh, that's not true. I did see them. Wow. I didn't know they were DK or something. They're worsted. They're DK. Okay. No, no, they're DK. No, they're DK. They might be worsted. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. But I think they're, DK. they're called Lupinit socks. Luplinit. Luplinit. Look at these. You guys, I never, I, I did not know Ooh, about this terrible. designer. It Ooh. like bur burning oil. Because he's doing it on wet lawn. Oh. Um, look at the embellishments on this sock. That puffy stitch, whatever that is, is so pretty. This is stunning. Star, star, star. Star, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Have a good rest of your day. I just thought these are just beauties. She's a beautiful designer, you guys. Yes. That's her name. I, I'm Suvi. a loving this choice of color palette where it's, Soft. It's almost dreamy. Like it's yes. really pretty. And I and just changing the color, you can see, well, that's bloom and this is like it looks, looks leaves. Like watercolor. Like this oh, that guy's blower is gonna explode. It's burning it's oil fire. so bad. It reeks. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Joke. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love um, it. Um okay, a little while ago I saw an update or a Every once in a while, I go into this shop because I just mm -hmm. love their work. And, and I need to knit with it. Um, and this is the Blue Brick, another incredible artist. Not just yarn. You know, they do pottery and all kinds of other things. She's so incredibly talented. But she's very inspired by nature and creates gradients. So here's one that's like, you know, 
maize or corn or whatever you want to call it. Maize. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, and she had this one in the shop. And you who should... says maize? Well, it's dried corn. Like it's <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. Everybody. When I don't it, know. When it's appropriate, we say maize. <laughs> Pass the maize. <laughs> I'm gonna put maize. butter on my maize. Okay. Um. <laughs> so she. This is the color exhale, and I mean you can see what it's gonna do. It's all these beautiful watery blues, and it's super calming. I couldn't leave it. This is her um, husky. That's why I bought it. Husky base. 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 457 meters. Oh, that's just hefty. Love it. Husky. It's husky. Um, I mean, you can get a lot, yeah, that's a a lot, lot of, of one skein yeah. shawls out of this. Bye, Star. Mwah. Um, I just thought the color was so beautiful. It's really something I love. So I don't know what I'm going to knit. I don't know if it might go in a prize or what, but it's so, so beautiful. beautiful. Love it. So I haven't shared their stuff for a long time, and I really am such a fan. Gorgeous. She does sweater kits that are gradient, everything. Love that. Yeah, it's really, really special. I'm loving the fade moments right now. Yes. So I'm going to talk about the um, Stephen West MCAL, because if any of you have signed up or watched his video, it is a gradient or fade i know so Isn't we're really excited. graphic for it oh he's adorable so fun like yes. cool and unique and i'm gonna fun. Talk, i'm gonna talk about that okay too. what's this okay you guys in a bag is it a mystery club no it is i ordered okay ritual dies yeah has their own oh my god it's not, now gonna be that's so funny keep the comments spiced it's, to a minimum i'm gonna say something so that we don't. get all the bots Okay, so this came in the mail. Sorry, back to the program. Spin Cycle Yarn. Okay. And so, so many people have their own shop colors. I love that they I do that. I am just opening this now. So it arrived. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but it's beautiful. So Jody. let's take a look. This is the danger of Spin Cycle Yarn. Oh, oh, what? You guys. It was pinks. It was golds. Purple. Oh. That looks like a candy shop to me. It really does. This like, is called Written in the Stars. What about a dark main color and just stripe it? Like, just stripe it in something. Something narrow stripes. Boy, they really sent beautifully matching skins. Yeah, it looks so good. Wow. <gasps> it did not disappoint. Wow. Yeah. This is the danger. You just buy it and worry about what to do with it later. I feel like that's pretty typical. So with... this is Ritual Dyes. Oh, look at Sacred Sheep. See? <gasps> oh, this is like the universe? What? The universe is telling us. Oh. She also has amazing yarn that we got to squish at Woolen Folk last year. She has an orange that I still think about. Yeah. I just didn't know what to do with it. It was the end of the day. There wasn't enough left for a sweater, so I left it there. But listen, my brain is not forgetting. Jody, I love it. I hope you find something really cool to do with it. I hope you find something really cool to send this to someone. <laughs> Her color is called Written in the Stars. Isn't that nice? Look at this is our invitation to Sacred Sheep. This would go with so much. Ooh, I really love it. I love her aesthetic. Yeah. She was lovely. Yeah. It's exciting for... Geez, Portland has a, just about um, shy of a million yarn shops. Do you know how excited all these events and all these like destination yarn events for people, these um, retreats that are popping up everywhere? Right. I just love how our fiber community is... Expl I feel like it's exploding Yeah. right now. Yeah. I love it. I love That's that great. people are taking a chance. This is, you guys, a big, big financial, That's emotional, a like, big time undertaking. investment. Sure. So for these women to have this as an undertaking, we applaud them. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. I got this a little while ago, too. I've been holding back. <laughs> Okay, let's take a moment and be sad because Shibui is no longer here. Yeah, but 
that blue is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, you know who had this? Lucinda at Montrico Yarn Shop. Okay. They had a big sale, like the end of July or something. Mm. Kind of this getting rid of it. Because 40% off at the time. I know. I couldn't say no. I don't have a plan, but this is for sure going to be some wow. kind of sweater. These are 300 meters. Shibui Silk Cloud is one of the nicest mohairs I've ever knit with. You guys. And this color is so pretty. It's actually, it was one of their collab colors with um, Madeline Tosh, and it's called Crevasse. That's such a good name. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to say anything about it. Do you sometimes worry? No, not at all. Okay, good. Um, this is stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. I agree. Tracy. I know. I, I wonder who they got their mohair from. That's stunning. Well, they probably milled it themselves, right? I don't know. Who knows? Wow. But the re I mean, it is 60% kid mohair, 40% silk. See, that's mine. That's, 70, 30. Yeah. So that's a quite a big difference. Yes. Um, it's lovely. It's funny how you think, oh, mohair is mohair, but some of them are different. No, and some of them are different. Um, this was beautiful. So maybe, you know, hop over to Montrico and see what they've got. But, um, I don't know if the sale is still on, but you know, yeah, it's just a wonderful yarn shop. You know who support. else has, so um, beautiful mohair is Sonder Yarn. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sonder Yarn. Okay. We talk about them I a love lot them. because we adore them. You know. But the yarn, everything. They're amazing women. But here's one more thing I wanted to add. Okay. There are makers, and everyone gets to do whatever they want, right? Everyone chooses. But a lot, some people gatekeep and aren't willing to share okay. everything with making, for in my instance, As, was yarn dyeing. Right. I totally get that. Like, that is your prerogative. It makes it difficult when yarn dyers are having trouble or struggling with something mm -hmm. that um, not everyone's willing to help. Right. But I wanted to shout out Sonder Yarn because Tanya is the dyer mm -hmm. and Melissa is this other half of the beautiful company and they're always so willing to help whenever yeah. I have an issue. Yeah. They help troubleshoot. That's so nice. They send ideas. Um, I just wanted to shout out. I couldn't love. I d couldn't love them more. Yeah. But I tell you now. Hi dear. I couldn't. Just another one of the reasons why we That's love so supporting. That's so nice. That's so nice to just spread the love. Absolutely. Very, very, very yeah. lovely. Couldn't agree more. There's not a ton out there. I know Frost Yarn. If you want to follow someone who's loving it frost yarn on instagram she's an amazing dyer she's working right now on a book on yarn, dye? yarn dyeing book well and isn't that going to be great she's invested hundreds of hours in this book and it's going to be incredible but um and i mean in the meantime if people wanted to check out school sweet georgia school of she's also school amazing. of school of school of sweet georgia okay yeah uh, there's a, there's a yarn dyeing class yes. in there too. More and than like it's like chapters of it, like yeah. it's hours of watching. Because I feel like yes, there's things on YouTube, but I, I don't know about you, but really, are what are the resources, right? So and if it people might are not, looking into yeah. getting into it. That book sounds amazing. The willingness of community help that's so nice with Tanya and because and we were we're having trouble with mohair and getting some colors to set and whatever so. They were helping me troubleshoot. That's and so, so, so nice. Anyway, so it was really good. Yeah. Just wanted to give that little bit of... Yeah. I know there's other dyers out there, too, that do share their knowledge, but you're right. Some of them... We don't have to... Like, the method isn't... Is the method the art? I don't know. But the... There, I don't know what to say. It's an absolute science, and these yes. are the things you have to do. But yes. then there's the dyes that are tricky. Yeah. Some are trickier than others, and then there you learn to do this differently or tweak it here. Right. And sometimes you never don't think of that. Yeah. Think of that. Um. Well, and that is so nice to shout them out and to just yeah. do the same. Yeah. Anyway. And then, you know, yeah. It, Color bleeding or not setting or tricks to do this. Right. Or I'm, anyway. Right. And then you can give your tip and then it's gone. Like yeah. they have to work it out. Yeah. Right. Like, but here's what I do. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that could be so helpful for someone. Exactly. 
And it's certainly not imparting anything that's going to damage anybody's business. Well, I don't want your dye recipes. Right. I can totally understand that that is off the table. Right. I'm happy to share some of my dye recipes. I, I'm not... <laughs> Not really, but like if you're trying to find this right. color, maybe you right. want to try these two right. or these three together. But right. um, they were awesome. Sorry, you just made me laugh. What? You're very, because you're just very giving and you're very open and that's yeah. a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's anyway. very nice. I mean, you're a total hot mess, but you are all of the above. Because <laughs> we've worked really hard on color development. Yes. And I'll show you a couple colors today. Okay, I can't wait. But I have nothing else to... Um, okay. I feel like I've shared everything that's happening today. I do want to share. I have a couple of other patterns here okay. that I want to share. Um, oh, I love this. I've been looking at this. You guys, this is a brand new pattern that just came out. <gasps> Look, this could be that. Yes. Isn't that funny? We see it in a certain color and you think, oh, I want to knit that pattern. Um, petite knits. Yes. We always talk about petite, petite, petite knits because we think her aesthetic is so beautiful. It's very classic. Very wearable. But look at this cardigan. I love. I, a few things that caught my eye about this is the ease of it. Um, I love the amount of Sorry. the in the V that's added. Like it's not like a big deep V. It's the V is a little bit closer. It feels like it's going to hug you. I just love this to throw on with jeans and a t-shirt. Like exactly what she's doing I here. I always love classic shapes, but then do it indie dot. Like do it knitter style, right? Like that you you know that it's something that somebody didn't buy in a store, that we made it with, it, with our hands. So I do, appre I really appreciate petite knit patterns, but they're like a canvas for whatever. Like, couldn't you see that in, like, a, a speckle and... A bright neon. Something beautiful, yes. right? But the pattern is there for you to just go crazy with. It's a blank canvas for you to add your flair. Okay, speaking of petite knit, this is... I'm not even kidding you. This is something I... I don't think it's out. Is it out yet? I don't think it's out yet. Maybe it is. I want to knit it. This is the <gasps> Je Jenny Jacket V-neck. It might be out. That I think I bought it. I think I bought it. Look it's beautiful. It's it's like a smocked stitch, so it's not like super fast stockinette. But I also don't think it's it's not hard. I've done something that's smocked before. No, but I love it. Okay, do you know you guys? I love that. To be able to work that with yeah. the math and no, like, that's mind blowing to me. That Here's a better pick, and I love it. Oh. That is so cute. I don't know what's going on here. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Again. It's a drop shoulder, you guys. Yeah. So. So beautiful. So it's worked usually from like this, the, like your shoulder blades up. Or maybe it's bottom up. And then you work it down up. and then you. Oh, then I love it. You cast I'm up. super, super, super tempted by that. Good morning, Shayla. Good morning. Good morning. Good. Are the kids back it's at afternoon school? for that for yeah. over there. Anyway, love, love, love. Okay. So you know what else is funny? No. Normally, um, you don't have to put in your code every time, like your passcode. Like you put it in once when you put your watch on. Okay. But he said, just be aware that your tattoos will affect your... So you kind of have to put in your code more often? Yes. Oh. Your tattoos. And if I was getting the other watch for like the Cardi... Like it does more like EC... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Uh, it probably won't work as it should. Oh, well then don't Be get that. Because of the... Show us your new tattoo. I haven't oh. even seen it in person yet. It's so pretty. It... Ev everywhere we went in Seattle, you got compliments on your tattoos. I did. Like going to the drive-thru. Anybody that's... There was a lot of... Well, they're right in love your Love for your tattoos I love them Seattle. so much. This one, the night that... The second night that I got home... I punctured the second skin, so I had to take it off. Oh. So I had to dry, uh, like dry heal, which is a little itchier. more... Not itchier, but it's a little more sore. But I love it. Jody, it's gorgeous. Thank you. I love that. Thank you so much. I love them. Okay. okay. Let's do a little pattern parade. And I want to see all the things that have been going on at Frankie Gray because... Okay, I've got... You talk about it, but I've more. not seen it. This... Oh, I love that. I just thought this was Isn't gorgeous. that a unique color work? Like it's it's very 
this was an Aaron weight. I love that. So you know what you could do? You could do DK and mohair. You yes, could you probably could get gauge. You'd probably get gauge with just a worsted weight. Yeah. I, Aaron weight, it just depends on the gauge of this, the sweater. But worsted weight can definitely work for... It's called V-A-U-L-A. -A. Vaula. It's really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, really, really It pretty. just jumped out at me. I, You know what I love doing before we come here? And a couple of times throughout the two weeks yeah. is going into... Just hitting the pattern tab if if Ravelry is something you can use. Yeah. And I either search by new, just added, because you there's yes. you can search by what's hot right now or new to Ravelry, and that's always fun. But then it also gives you your highlights. I love to follow or favorite um, the designers that I like, that I see, so you're always getting updated with anything new that they come out. I do too. But I love just going through new patterns. There's also a section there is um, debut patterns, which yeah is really fun. It's very too. fun. Um, Max Aww. Sear, Max and Sear, we beautiful designer. He is such a beautiful designer. Yes. His yokes in particular, I feel like, are standout. This is so. Is it geometric? Yeah, it's very modern looking to me. Very like it's, modern. And I would say, yeah, Geometric's a great... It's called Interfer it's Interference. I think something like TV Static. Did I read something there? Yeah. Where he said something Doesn't like that? Doesn't that remind... It just looks great. He he gets inspiration from the coolest places. Yeah. And I think this yoke is stunning. I agree. The sweater's beautiful. So congratulations. That's a brand new beautiful pattern. I got something so adorable. Um, that I saw teased by, and I, so this, this is the petite knitter. So not petite knit, but yes. the petite knitter who's a different designer. I signed up for her test knit emails. So I get these awesome emails from her and I've just never been able to get in there for other, whatever reasons. And she designs the cutest stuff, amazing sweaters, but look what she came up with. It's a it's called the gingham pouch and it's out there now. It's I believe published. Okay, this is a video. I just want to see the thing. Like she was Can we see that? So it's two colors of yarn. <gasps> it's like a It's so cute. That's so, not called Hound's Tooth, is it? No, what's um, that called? Like, gingham. Oh, like right, gingham. right. Okay, yeah, you said that. <gasps> I love it. Isn't it adorable? I've been wearing a tennis. That's a fun little gifty thing. Yeah. That wouldn't Or just long. like a pal palette cleanser if you're someone that's doing other projects. Um, again, stash bust galore. See, she's holding it by the handles here. Ah, Isn't so that cute. so cute? Yeah. She did it in biche et bouche yarn. And yes, it is out there to buy. You can buy it on her website or I believe Ravelry too, but she's also the one that did... The flock bag. Remember I showed this? Those are embroidery sheets. That's a little drawstring pouch. So, I mean. That's her, a treasure. All of her pat Like, they heard that so um, mm -hmm. color work heavy, sweater heavy, super cozy, wool. I mean, I just love, 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 love her work. And she also did this cute little mushroom. Remember I showed the mushrooms? So, there were some really cute whimsical patterns from her this summer. Her that photography is, is so beautiful. Cute. Everything. Yeah. And it all just seems to go together. She uses a neutral palette that just kind of. Mm -hmm. And these are called the Shroomkin. Oh, <laughs> so cute. So cute. Um, okay, I'm going to show this pattern because it's so cute. But I applied to test knit this and I Did wasn't you? chosen. Aw. Well, sometimes. What? Sometimes what? Sometimes she <laughs> knows people know better. Um, it's called, I made this pullover and it's a brand new pattern. It's a short sleeve sweater and it's granny squares that you put together. Uh, no, which way do I, oh, this way. Look at, look. Oh, come on. That's so I cute. wanted to do, oh, see if these are the test knit ones. These are the people that got picked. Lucky. That's so cute. Look at the gray base. So and then that she would did be unbelievably fun to make this modular. Yeah, it would have been, wouldn't it? Have? Yeah, well, 
Maybe you should For, make one. Somebody had a hot granny square summer cow. Okay, you guys. Today is officially the last day of hot granny square summer knit along and our ready sweater go. But I will be honest. I'm leaving it open. It's a long weekend. Finish your stuff. Yep. We will do draw prizes and, and I'm going to get all caught up in prizes next week. So... Yes, it's technically over, but thank you so much for joining the fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We certainly did. Like I never, I've never done granny squares before, and that was the whole. Now reason. you're a crocheter. Listen, Listen, I'm in it. I'm in it, people. We love knitting, and we knit more than we crochet. But I can't tell you the excitement I get when I get back to crochet. Oh, I love I it. I love, love it. it. It's different. It's so different than was, knitting, you guys. It was sort of giving me like, you know how I love knitting in stripes, changing colors, all that stuff. I was doing the same thing with granny squares, like building colors around each other. And that was just super fun. And you can't stop. You can't. It's so addicting and it's the same motion. It's not even there's so much to learn because you're doing the same thing over and over. But tension was definitely a thing. Making that magic ring starting thing was great to learn and slightly tricky at the beginning. I'm not going to lie. Magic loop. Whatever no. they call it. Magic ring. I'm yeah. born, I, That's not even it. Yeah, I think it is. Magic ring. I think ring. that's what it's called. Somebody called it that. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Ring of fire? <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. A nice little ring thing at the beginning. You pull it tight. Um, That's magic. It is the magic ring. I think it's a magic magic circle. Oh, close enough. Okay, somebody said magic circle. That sounds like a... It is magical. Like a That thing. it closes it like that? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so phenomenal. It's a great technique. Um, I had so much fun doing it. Yeah. But, yeah. So, thank you to everybody. I hope you had a good summer with our crochet along and knit along. And the Hohe Fall Cow starts tomorrow... We don't really have a plan for a new knit along at the moment, but is our sweater knit along finished? It? Yeah, oh, our sweater one is done yeah. too. Yeah, we can do something else. We can add okay. something else, but we haven't just thought of it yet. We'll think of something for but next time. You have to register for Hohe's knit along, and today's the last day. I want to say. So go check play. her her stuff for the info, but I don't. I do know. Maybe it was yesterday. Mm. I don't know. We we we. I don't know. You, the, they start tomorrow, but I'm not sure when. You the may have left is. out. You may, you may have. This is amazing. I'm showing it. Oh so my good. goodness! So the okay, pearl. Okay, it's knitter. magic circle. That does that. That sounds good. This is a new design that's going to be part of the Strands of Joy two book in the works by Anna by Anna, Anna. Johanna. Listen, this is. Everyone's going to need this. Okay. So this is, well, it's su super gorgeous. And she's knit this in Moondrake yarn. That's Moondrake's one of her spin cycle colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's Moonbeams. Um, and the back of this says Pearl. No. Down at the bottom. Did you see the other picture? No. Yeah, there's another one. It's, it's. It's unbelievable. Adele is so funny. She's like, I'm going to go sign up at Hohe's Knit Along and, and not, not finish. finish. Of course. Listen, we all are. I didn't finish in my own Knit Along. I, okay. I still have a sleeve to do on my Instant Crush sweater. Okay. That was for our own Knit Along. Okay. This also, this is the Cloverdale sweater set. It's a sweater and skirt skirt by Wolf Oak Yarn, and it's coming soon. This is commitment. What is she? I want to see how fast she knits. I bet and, she's speedy. And the probably coziest thing ever. That is a pattern coming. And like a pencil skirt down to your ankles, kind of. Who would ever get out of that? This. That would be so cozy. This. She is the most beautiful knitter. Yeah. Her aesthetic is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a closet. That is just. We got to get ready for that. I'm ready. But you know it's, fi it's fingering weight. Just FYI. What? Some things are worth the Gross. work. No. Everything's worth the Gross. work. Gross. <laughs> They're the worst. Um, okay. Okay. What's been going on at Frankie Gray, Joe D? You guys so I know you've been so busy. Much. I want to see everything. Okay. So. Bring it. Um, what am I doing here? Stephen West. 
Yes. Is doing his MCAL. People go nuts for this. People get so excited for this. We thought we would offer some, because we're on the fade train, right? Right. And so we thought we would offer some fades for you guys. Um, Shayla, you're so right. Casting, she said, casting on gives us that dopamine that like, it does. it's that new relationship and everything is bright and new and, you know, and then you get halfway through and you're like, I right. want a, I want a divorce. Right. I'm breaking up with you. So I'm going to show you the fades that actually Jordan put all these fades together. This is amazing. Um, they're on our website now and it's uh, a four skein set. He requires a four skein of fingering weight yarn. Okay. And it's a, a gradiating color or fade uh, for this kit. So that's the pink. Ooh. I love the peach to the uh, like bluey pink vibe, like this, the warm to cool. This could be my favorite. Ooh, ooh, I love it. <gasps> Starting oh with brick God. and then big apple, stiletto, and lollipop. Yes, I love that. Boy, the the anchor with this dark and the pop. Wow, that's I gonna think be. It's gonna fade so. That's gonna be everything. This one's really fun too. With for all our like, Hi, George. moody blue, Georgia. We're podcasting. How are you doing? Not good. Oh, crummy. Can you make me lunch? <laughs> what? I'm hungry. If she makes you lunch, I'll be pissed. She does it make doesn't lunch. happen over here. Um, okay, this is for all our watery blues. This is slate, oh, gosh. eucalyptus, oh, come on. sage, and sky high. Jody. Right? Yes. Eucalyptus is a color I think about a lot. Okay. I actually have ideas that I want to knit some things. Okay. I just don't have the time. Ooh, this that's is so charcoal, pretty. Charcoal, denim, smoke show, and lilac ice. Jody. We got. So, I got so excited with these fades. She did such a lovely job putting such these together. Such a good job. That's so fun and so talented. There is. That's gonna be. These are all gonna be stunning, but. For me, when there's a charcoal gray, it's just, I don't know, it goes with, like, I like to wear black vibe. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Oh, that's really This nice. is Rosewood, Blushing Bride, Ballet, and Whisper. What's this? Blushing Bride. Blushing Bride. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, that's beautiful. Okay. I'm actually dying to see what the knit I don't join this knit along. It's going to be fun to watch. But I anxiously wait to see what it looks like because I, I love seeing that. Look, Adela said, where's the green? Wait, Adela. This oh. one is, is this a little bit? Sea green, jelly bean, aquamarine, and soft aqua. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I'm really excited to see what he's got cooked up. Ooh, this <gasps> is really pretty. This is one of my favorite Black colors. cherry, mulberry, pop rocks, and mayflower. Jody. Oh, this is, I have two more. Wait, 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 you guys, wait. Wait for it. I get so excited about my yarn colors, even. I love that. Um, this one is onyx, taupe, sand dollar, and parchment. Okay, hear me out. Okay. These, yes, they're going to be awesome for the knit along, but lot like, I'm thinking, like, knit a raglan sweater. Gradient it. Fade them together. Like, you can do lots with a four So these stain. are sets all in one listing. Like, all these are perfect for exactly what you've listed them for. Yeah. But I'm I'm also thinking, holy man, I could make a, almost a sweater maybe. We Jody, that's beautiful. Two brand new colors. In this fade, this is Midnight. Ooh. It's a brand new color. That's pretty. Um, this is Mouse Gray. This is a brand new color called Oat. Oh, my goodness. And then this is Parchment. <gasps> I love that. Two brand new colors in our Dyed to Order section, but they're also going to be included wow, this in this is, fade. That's beautiful. But all of them. I love that's this. That's really I'm nice. I'm obsessed with this new color. And that's one that's literally going to go with everything. There's I no color it. that you can no. put with that that it's not going to go with. Okay, this was my very favorite. Adela, this one's for you. I love. Siren. 
this is our new one. We're going to, I said we were going to call it Clausen or Bix. I'm not sure what is going to be the color, but this is a new color. This is ochre and this is citron. I love. So 10 new colors. You could call it pickly. Oh, pickly's cute. <laughs> I'm the worst. I said dill. Dilly. That's cute. Dill. Yeah. Okay, so another thing we've done is mini sets. Now. Adela said, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, this is so fun. Okay, so Joey, we were you guys we had a, so we, busy. We're gonna take two full days off this long weekend because Good. we because I need to also get some knitting done for patterns, but we've worked really hard and I'm so proud of us. But I'm so proud of you too. We did mini sets. So in our mini section, we did it on fingering. Fingering Sparkle, DK, and DK Sparkle. Wow. And all ready to ship. Ready to ship, ready to go. Wow. But what we also did was um, showed it by knitting a sample. This is so good. So this, I don't know what these sets are called off the top of my head because Jordan named them all. But these are some sets I'm going to show This is super, you. like, collegiate. This is don't so... You think? Yeah. It reminds me of back to school yeah. and classic colors. Yeah. So I that's love the it. first one. Love it. These are all our dyed to order colors. But I think it's going to be really fun to add like a solid to do a yoke or these are going to be great for your socks. Yeah. Or I feel like um, mini skein lovers, even like me, I it's like um, spin cycle. You buy it and worry about what to do with it later. Yeah. This is great. So I have two of every one of these. Oh my god, my machine was working on overtime. fire. And this is taupe up here. Taupe. Yeah, you know what? It's gorgeous. <gasps> I love taupe it. Taupe and is is this what is this? Hibiscus <gasps> and eucalyptus. Okay. Washing bride and taupe parchment. Taupe and hibiscus. It's pretty and together. They're all like BFFs. That's so good. <gasps> oh my gosh. This has got siren. Lemony limey. No, citron. Yeah, citron. Uh chick flick. Chick Flick, Soft Aqua, and Phantom. Love. Love. I love that one. I'm just crazy about this kind of like pink and pop. Of, yeah, love. Okay, I don't is, know how you... This is I, my the, favorite. Oh. Is that not... This is Jordan's pick. Oh, this is God. my favorite. It's got Charcoal. It's got Elmer. It's got Smoke Show. It's got Prickly Pear. And it's got Aquamarine. So good. I first I thought, ew. No, not ew at all. Now it's my favorite one. It actually, a lot of people love this kind of combo for like Halloween vibes. Yes. Right? I think in a shawl. But I love it more for just all the time. It's just a super fun popping <gasps> combo. We love that. <gasps> Sorry, what was your orange? Elmer. Yeah. So good. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Very pretty. This one is oh, this very is... woodsy kind of like... Um, I it's don't know. It's soft, but fun. Yeah. Right? So it's walnut, sand dollar, moss, chick, pretty in pink, and denim. Wow. It's so lovely. Okay, this we re-dyed. I love that one. Mm. I still have that in DK. I was going to use that. Don't use it yet. I'll okay. give you another one. Because we didn't, the indigo we tweaked. Oh, yes. It yeah. does look a little bit. Um, so this, oh, this is retro vibes. I love this. This is so good. Um, indigo, big, uh, big apple, tangelo, neon coral, and parchment. Oh, Ooh. yes, please. Yeah. I'm seeing a striped raglan yoke and then solid body on yeah. the sleeve. Like, I love it. And Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Hey, Linda, cast on. Okay, the Guess last one. watching. We had. Oh, <gasps> this is so good. We had a customer reach out and say she wants to knit hohe sweater. Yeah. But she lives in Florida, wants it in fingering weight, but needs a touch more on each one. Would we do a mini set? Because she was going to order one of each of the big. And right. I said, totally, no problem. What do oh you want? Oh my gosh, that's so, so nice. So this is. I for, oh, What's her name? Anyway, we named this mini set after her. Oh. This is the color she's doing for the Hohe sweater, but we threw in um, a sand dollar to oh, make it a five. Oh, that's so nice. For her. So this is her curated color set. Wow. We thought it was so beautiful, we added it to the lineup. You are so right. 
Mm. So all the MCAL skeins are in there. Dee Dee, thank you. Jordan's here. Oh, hi, Jord. Um, you this guys is Dee Dee's have been pick. doing an amazing job. And I feel like it's very easy to work all the time when you work from home and you feel like a couple hours here, a couple hours there. Yeah. You have to be careful that you, do, that you like when you're saying take time off, on the, you really should have weekends off, mostly. Yeah. We're usually working six days, but then like it'll be like a two hours on a Sunday. Right. Or yeah. one day will be... We'll I feel see. like you should have a day where you actually don't work. Or you should try yes. and make sure there's a day where it's like... Yes, we're going to try that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. Um, we just, I just get sweet. except when I need yarn, then we're I would so like it in two hours. Color right now, yeah. We're swinging into fall, which the colors you can knit the brights, but we see. Oh, more... I'm so I love the change of season. I'm ready for it. Like I love the neons and the brights, and now I really am ready for the chestnut and the black cherry and the, all of those things. We did some color development yesterday, so they weren't ready, but we have four new colors on top of the two you've seen. People need to go look at black cherry. Black cherry. It needs oh. its moment. I love it so much. Black cherry. I don't know where it went. Black cherry is exactly like it's plummy. It's not so purpley. It's purpley plummy. But dark, it's dark and moody. It's the perfect, it's autumn and winter. Like, it's mm -hmm. such a good color. Mm -hmm. But I think it would um, almost read neutralish. Like, it's not too out there. I think a lot of people would I agree. be able to wear it and not feel like they're wearing a crazy. There's so many good colors that go with it. Like, if you're into striping, those scummy greens are, and that chestnutty color. Like, yeah. there's so many good colors that go with it. You guys, I get so inspired after coming here and seeing the patterns, playing with yarn, talking yeah, about color and patterns. I leave here reinvigorated. And Yay. I, and I didn't even feel like I needed it because I'm already so excited. I agree. But it is fun. It's sort of like our own little knit night. <laughs> but when, the, when I mean, it really adds something to that we're here live. We have comments. We're here with you. Um, that's a huge part of this for us. It's, yes, we're lazy. We don't edit videos. But it is a huge, we would miss interaction so much, right? It doesn't feel as much like it's just us sitting at home in the basement anymore. We're so yeah. lucky that people pop in and out of the live when they're able to. I mean, really, you should just put aside three hours every two weeks and just come join us. Let's but, do an Ask Us Anything for 10 minutes. Uh, what are we at? Sure. Or we could do, or you could pop questions in the, we should do Ask Me Anything in our Instagram stories and then have them here for people that can't be live mm -hmm. but yes of course we could do ask me anything for 10 minutes maybe people don't have any questions because we share everything already somebody just asked a question there somebody brought well it's actually leah one of my test knitters hi leah know. um she, okay this is a good one for you this is like ask us ask the expert about yarn my parents recently went to Ireland and brought me back what they were told was a sweater quantity of yarn. They bought it straight from the mill. How exciting. That is super exciting. It's just gorgeous, but it doesn't have a ball band. I don't know what weight it is. It's mm. at least Aaron, maybe bigger. I'm not sure. Is there a way to figure out the gauge? Yes. <gasps> Leah. <laughs> not that I know. Yeah, you have to swatch. Okay. Right? So. And isn't it wraps per inch? You can do too? that thing that's wraps per inch. I've never done that. I'm not sure how, like, bang on accurate that is. Yeah. But if I were you, so here's the thing. Because then you'd want to know, like, does it tell you how many meters per she hundred grams? She said she doesn't even know the yardage. Nothing. Just the weight. Just the. Because mm. there is a thing where you can make a swatch and weigh it. Mm -hmm. And then weigh your skein and that. That kind of, yes, there is a way to do it. I'm, I would have to do some research into it, but mm -hmm. you can absolutely do that. There's also yardage meters that you can clip onto your like ball winder thing. And so it would run through, if you wound it into a ball, it would run through the yardage meter. And at the end, it would tell you how many yards that is. And then you could weigh the ball. And if you know it's 100% wool and say you get 100 grams and it's 170 meters, you know it's Aaron. Mm. Or if it's 200 meters for 100 grams, you think it's worsted. 
Okay. But then there's swatching, right, to find out what gauge you can get with it. Mm -hmm. But it is really nice to know how many meters you have to play with. That's tough. As far as yeah. patterns to cast on. Mm -hmm. And sweater quantity is different for everybody. So hopefully there's enough yardage there for you to make a sweater. If not, vests are all the rage. You would probably have enough to make a vest. Um, but there's got to be like a system out there where you knit a swatch and then weigh it and then it can tell you what gauge it is. But the, the yardage counter thing, I think, could give you some good information. That's so funny. Um, Connor asked if I lost a tooth. Yes, Connor. I forgot my flipper this morning and I realized you guys are all my close friends. Totally. I don't need to have my tooth in. Totally. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. I don't see any I'm questions. I'm a baby. There's tons of questions. I'm a baby knitter. When, when you... using indie dyed yarns, I always hear to alternate the hanks. What does that mean? <gasps> Such a good question. So for a pattern that requires more than one skein and you're using hand dyed yarn... Because they're always different, right? Even if you put them in the pan at the same time, right? They don't take up the yarn, the dye at the same rate or something like that, exactly. right? They're just never the same. Exactly. So if you need to have a project with more than two skeins, say it's a sweater. In the past, I have done a round, knit around in one yarn. And I do the helical knitting where you slip your last three stitches of the round. And then the next round would be another ball. And then switch your yarn again. So every round you're kind of knitting the different yarn. And it blends it all together through the project. I if, mean, Yeah, I love it. If you go on YouTube and you want a visual, mm -hmm. um, search helical knitting yeah. on YouTube. And you're going to have a lot of videos that are going to show you a vi visual. Of it. Yeah. Super easy. Don't be intimidated. It couldn't be an easier It technique. sounds awkward and a, like a pain. And I promise you, it's really not. Yeah. It's really not. And it does work. It really makes a difference when using hand-dyed yarn. You'll get an even, beautifully knit, um, not patchy sweater. Right. Gabrielle wants to know what's going on with my sweater that I ruined with OxyClean. <sighs> Nothing. It's sitting in a basket as you last saw it. Nothing. Time out. Nothing. I kept it for so long. I Jody did get Jody gave a me some kind of chemical thing that's supposed to take out the dye or I don't yeah. know. I feel like I should just wash it in OxyClean and try and yeah. do the whole thing that way. And then yeah. it might get re-dyed. I don't know. Yeah. It's a little bit of a sad pro Like, I don't know. Wah, wah. It's a bummer. Time out. I feel like I should just knit a new one. It's a mm -hmm. Wave of Change pullover by Bindi Denise Bayron. It's so good. Such a good pattern. Okay, a few more questions, guys. We missed a whole bunch. Uh... I don't Oh. And then some of these had sparkle. That is adorable. I saw Look, the sparkle. Sparkle in that one. We love it. Well, maybe we should ask for questions ahead of time. And then we'll have a little list for next time. Next time will be September 14th-ish. Um, and then the week after that is Knit City. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Idea for Thank a retreat. Thank you, Kim. Shetland Islands. Yes, please. Hey, Texas in the house. Hey, everybody. But don't forget, sign up for our newsletter. Yeah. Link will be found. Chris Christine, Jody just showed a whole bunch of West Knits four skein uh, kits you can find at Frankie Gray right now. FrankieGrayFiber.com. Whoops. But look at all these. Michelle, Woolens and Nosh. Why? I just saw that and then now it's gone. Oh, there it is. Um, she got an Earlbacher Gearheart. Who should I watch on YouTube for tutorials? I oh there I mean Jamie they, Mayfield. Look at Jamie Mayfield, who is Earl Bacher, right? Yeah, Works yeah, for Earl Bacher. Yeah. She's got great videos. Yeah, yeah. There's a ton. You know who had some really good ones too for setup and cleaning and basics was Tracy. Oh God. Oh my God. My brain. Do you have you watched some of those? I have never watched any. Crafts from the third floor. Nora George yarns. I think her YouTube channel was called Crafts from the Third Floor. She was one of the, like, she was maybe the second one that I saw that knew, knew, uh, she was buying a thing, a machine. So she mm -hmm. did a bunch of really great videos, like disassembling and basics and hanging a hem. And she has really great videos, too. I've watched them a lot. The darker mauve. Hi from Arizona. I hope you're not melting. Okay, I'm going to share one last thing. 
And it's a dinner that I made this week. And it was like healthy and delicious. And I was very surprised. It's called mushroom spinach zucchini lasagna on hungryhappens.net. I will try. I will try and leave it like there for this. a sec. This is the, the hungry dot happens. It's okay. straight up veggies and cheese. I mean, how much worse? How good can it be? It was like a little loaf pan. Did you make veggie it? Made it and loved it. Cake, because you know what I think of when I see that? The best of bridge has the best zucchini casserole with its layered zucchini and cheese and then an egg kind oh of. that's <gasps> what's that called again i love it's that. called amazing it's yes so good and croutons mm -hmm. or something oh yeah it bakes into this cheesy thing anyway hungry dot happens if you go to that instagram page i'm pr like this was so oh. easy and you could, i would do without the mushrooms you can put your, your veggies you like in it roasted peppers take out the mushrooms and do roasted peppers because you love those i do it love was those. Just like breadcrumbs and then um, sauteed vegetables. You kind of drain the spinach on some paper towel. Um, but did George eat that? Adding Parmesan cheese, like oh. nice, like par mm -hmm. Parmigiano Reggiano was amazing. I made her a little one that had no Parmesan cheese and she said it was good. The zucchini tastes like nothing. No. It's just a vehicle. But Jeff and I loved it. And it's then a vehicle to get the cheese into my... Right. Pie hole. And so, yeah, it's like noodleless lasagna, but I cook noodles for the side because I'm not giving up noodles. So there you go. <laughs> it was great. That sounds great. Yeah. So that's it for me. I hope you guys have a good two weeks. We'll be back. We will be back. I promise to have something new cast on. Or, no, not or. Listen, this is calling my name. This is like sparkles, big gauge. I knit this on a 5.5 millimeter. Come on. It feels a little Vegasy, which I'm all I'm totally. I'll have yours tomorrow. I'm totally here for that. Adela, there's no rush. Thank you for there's thank no you rush for you just coming. Cast on. Thank you, Adela, for helping out. I hope you're having a good day. Please give a big hug to Lola. And I know she wasn't feeling well, and I hope she's better soon. Yeah, that's awful when your kid is sick. It's just awful. We're so grateful Such you a take time to spend and knit chit chat. Totally, everything fibery. Totally. Yeah. We really appreciate it. And we love coming to connect with you. So whether you're here live or later, I have to pee thank now. you. Thank you. Well, you only drank about oh, two, liters. two liters of water. I've started drinking coffee in the morning, a cup of coffee, like an iced coffee. I don't know if it's the caffeine that I love, but I do love the smell, the routine. Like I love, I drink one cup of coffee a day and it's now. So I love it's it. It's nice. It doesn't uh, give me a jolt, but it, it makes me so I'm not yawny. Well, that's probably right. I mean, I do think I benefit from the caffeine a little mm. bit. Um. <laughs> In the mini fade set on page two, what mini fade set? Did somebody have a question? Oh, my God. This is totally calling my name. What? Just a sec. I'll wait for just a sec if okay. we have another question. But okay. Somebody... Oh, hi, Lisa. I'm so glad you could join us live. Lisa, you're late. We're leaving. <laughs> We're just about ready to say goodbye. Jake, just kidding. Thank you for coming. Um, maybe they could give you, maybe they could message you on Instagram totally. or email you. Mm -hmm. What's it? Frankie Gray Fibers at Gmail? Yeah. Dot com. Okay. Frankie Gray Fibers at Gmail. .com. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Jody's got amazing customer service. Because I don't do it. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> there was a lot of maze here today. Totally. Okay, you guys. We are putting it off. Okay. But we're saying goodbye. Oh, we will see we you next to? time. I know, right? We don't really have to. So good. No, we're, we're ready. We're the boss of us. We're but, ready. Yeah. Got to get um, some other stuff done today. Okay, you guys. We'll see you in two weeks. Yes. Keep knitting. We'll meet you back here same time in two weeks. You betcha. Goodbye. Bye.